Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs>
to Google good enough to find it <laughs> <laughs> even. There was several scenes where Michael, okay, there's the, the wedding between, uh, what's your name? Uh, Phyllis. Phyllis and her husband, and Michael Vance. And Bob Vance, Vance Bob, Refrigeration. <laughs> I keep saying Michael for everyone. But there is some other wedding or some rehearsal where Michael is like, does this cringy thing of like, does he sleep with Pam's mother? Yes. And he talks about it at some ceremony. There was some speech he gave where Pam was like, shut the fuck up, Michael. I could not remember where it was. Mm. Was it Jim and Pam's reception? No. Or practice? He did give he did give a cringy speech at their like reception. reception. Or no, at their like rehearsal dinner. Rehearsal, rehearsal dinner. But it was before he slept with her mother. I could not find it. What about Roy's me. wedding? Roy's wedding? <laughs> Might have been. There was something I don't know if Michael was invited to that no. one. There's no, something he where there. Michael got drunk and gave a speech and Pam was pissed at him. Told him to shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. Great series. Uh, do you, how do you compare it to Parks and Rec? I like it more. Yeah. I mean, I like Parks yeah. and Rec, but Office is like my probably third favorite show of all time. Yeah. Yep. Let me see. It's Office and then it's Friends. Mm, I like Seinfeld better than Friends. Right. So it's Office, then Friends, then Seinfeld. Seinfeld so then Friends favorite, wasn't it? well no well um, my favorite's Game of Thrones oh. and then Breaking Bad and then oh, The yeah. Office but sitcoms sitcoms is my favorite sitcom gotcha Seinfeld's pretty close Seinfeld I felt like was pretty genius it was not everybody's cup of tea but she I thought she is like unrivaled in Seinfeld trivia my dad my dad <laughs> takes it upon himself That's to try fair. to find trivia that I won't know right. like, I'm like I got another one for you <laughs> and he'll tell me I think, it. Only, I think he only ever got you once I don't know that he ever got me. What did he get I me? I thought there was one that recently you're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe you figured it out eventually, but the last one he gave me, I knew. <laughs> yeah, that was before that. Listen to a lot of um, comedy improv podcasts, and they were talking about how Seinfeld apparently assigned that that formula of all of the evolving plots and coming that everything coming everything together. yeah would come full circle everything by the would end. Everything come, so come full circle into the end. There's a name for that in improv called a herald, where you have three people doing three separate scenes, three separate characters, and three separate storylines. Mm -hmm. And on stage, at in the moment, you have to do three separate stories that all come together at the end. Mm. In the moment, that's crazy. I thought that was always the genius part of Seinfeld was yes, how it was. they always made it. Yep. Come back around full circle at yep. the end. Yep. Show about nothing coming back full circle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got a game here. Uh, theme songs. TV theme songs. I'm going to play the beginning of each one. Uh, they're pretty iconic, so I'm going to play. Do we have to buzz? You have to buzz. So mm -hmm. get ready to buzz. Get your hands in the buzzer. How many ready. questions? Uh, no questions, just like the clips. Or like, how many? How many? How many? Uh, yeah. We have, let's see. Just say. so I know how many I have to get to win. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Holy 15, cow. 16, 17. 17. Right. So odd number. So. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> narrowed it down to yeah. nine <laughs> uh, so like I said the beginning the very beginning is is you're going to know it so be ready three two one. Oh, I get it turn it up I guess wow okay ready buzz fresh, fresh, yep sorry <laughs> fresh, the fresh prince of bel air and next one three two one buzz hmm um uh, Oh, oh, full house. Yep. And three, two, one. Buzz. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> three, two, one. Buzz. <laughs> X-Files. I didn't know that one. Never watched that show. Three, two. Okay, this one actually. Buzz. Star Trek. Let me fast forward a bit. No? Mm. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, Buzz? Yep. I have a guess. Yep. West Wing? No. Nope. Oh, sorry. This is not a TV show. <laughs> I just realized I, I snuck in one movie. Do you know? No? No? Uh. 
Pause. Oh. Oh man. Wow. Hold on. Shut up. <laughs> Buzz. Yes. Jurassic Park. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. I couldn't get like uh like Independence Day out of my head for some reason. Sorry. Back to back to TV shows. Three, two, one. No. Hmm. Buzz. Buzz. The Adams Family. Yep. This is a show. I don't know if you guys have watched. Buzz? Tales from the Crypt? Nope. Okay, since you're both not answering, I'm assuming you haven't seen this, the show. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Buzz. Buffy. You spoke fast. Okay. Three. Yeah, he didn't give the full title, Buzz. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> oh, my God. Three, two, one. Buzz. Buzz. Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Buzz. Twilight Zone. <laughs> Three, two, one. Buzz. Buzz. Hmm. Um. I dream of genie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it really? <laughs> yep. Okay, there it is. Uh, I played this a second ago. Buzz. Three tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Buzz. Buzz. Got it. Happy days. <laughs> Three, two, one. No? Buzz. Mm. Batman. Mm-hmm. Buzz. Mm-hmm. Seinfeld. Yep. <laughs> Buzz. Yeah. Um. Peanuts. Mm-hmm. Or Charlie Brown. Right. What was that? Yeah. Well, was Peanuts. Peanuts. Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Peanuts, wasn't it? Nope. Oh, Buzz. Mm. Um, Mission Impossible? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a movie. <laughs> and a TV show from was the, the TV show too? 60s, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Damn, dude. You hit, you don't you don't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you watch way too much TV and you're like annihilated. I don't know. None of those really seemed hard. No. Well, that's the thing. Like I couldn't. I was gonna try to make it so I could put Your it somewhere in the Your brain definitely middle. processes I faster I than got, like, mine. I thought I might get like some like Cheers or Little House on the Prairie in there. I could have done that. I would have got them both that. anyways. But yeah, you watch too much television. It's just over the course of time, man. I don't think anybody would have thought those are extremely hard. No. There's a legendary question on Giant Bomb podcast about if a man, two men, come at, come at each other with a knife, and another one of the guy has a bat. Who would win? Who do you think wins bat versus knife? Two bat guys a, with a knife or yeah. one guy with a knife? Two guys at a, one guy has a bat, one guy has a knife. And, who wins? Okay. Uh, Generally, who wins? If you have a knife and I have a bat, who, who's going to win? Well, um, <laughs> you guys might think that I'm going thinking a little bit too much about this, but <laughs> if his go. knife throwing ability is pretty good, I just throw that right at your dome. You have one shot. You do that once. That's your one Sure. You shoot your shot. Honestly? And then you're shot. I feel like having a baseball bat doesn't mean you're going to win the fight against an unknown person. Again, so yeah, it's just, it's just the whole thing of like what's better, fat quickness? You you get a good artery cut and the dude's dead, right? You well, sta- One stab, right, is in, to the gut's not going to stop you, right? No, it shouldn't. I mean, the, the after effect, you're still probably going to die. But, I mean, you don't have to die. Honestly, range is better. Bat. Range, range bat. is best. Bat. So bat would be the bat ideal. Bat knife? What does Carrie yeah. say? Unless this dude can throw a knife really well. I don't know. Sure, like, bat. Like a, a, a butterfly knife or something. Just like a small knife, not a, not a machete. Well, actually, if, you know, if someone knows how to do that twirly thing. Mm. Mm. Bat versus machete? Bat versus machete? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, machete. You both got to swing hard with either one. Machete. You know? The, if you could hit anywhere with a bat, right, in the shoulder, in the, in the arm, and I mean definitely in the head, you're done. But you know, if you hit in the shin, in the knee, somebody knee, hits you in the knee, right, with a bat, are you done? No. No. I mean, if Walking Dead's taught me anything, you can take about five <laughs> shots to the head <laughs> before, you know, you're dead. Oh, true. Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no. I just, you don't think knife has any? forget. Knife has any uh, advantages? If you can and, throw and a, one really well. In a well. bat versus, versus knife fight, 
You're saying bet all the way. Uh, I mean, not all the way. If you want to break it in percentage, then yeah. I'm going to say like bat 60%, knife 40. Okay. Right. Machete is 60. <laughs> baseball bat is 40. <laughs> Machete is like the combination of bat and knife, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, summer's over. Summer's coming to a close. We got the top mm. top ranked movies of the summer, top uh, grossing movies of the summer. We decided to do domestic movies. That means movies in the U.S., not inside the U.S. The grossing worldwide was kind of obvious. So we have the top grossing movies of 2019 summer. What do you think? Uh, let's start number one. What do you think? Avengers. Yes. Uh, what do you think number two? It was the top second grossing movie of the year. Um, Toy Story. Uh, not number two. What was it? Number... I can't tell you that. <laughs> Just guess it every uh, time. Yep. <laughs> You, I think Lion you saw, King. I think you, yes, Lion King. For real? Yep, five hundred twenty-five million dollars just in the U.S. Interesting. Number three was Toy Story. Ooh. What was number four? You just told me. <laughs> it was number four. <laughs> number four was um. Oh, uh, I think we saw this together. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Spider Man. No, no. One of those. One of those. Yeah. Um. Captain Marvel. Yep. No, we didn't watch so that. Good. I still haven't watched Captain Marvel. Oh. Uh, what's number five? You said it. Spider Man. Spider Man. What's yeah. number six? I think Carrie saw this. Aladdin? Yep. Okay. Number seven is kind of a weird one. It dropped. It dropped big time. The, the top six made over 300 million. Number seven made 175 million. <clears throat> um, scary movie. It. Nope. It just came out. It or the other it, but that was other. out like what two years ago. Yep. Yeah. Um, scary movie with uh, the guy that did Get Out. The Us one. Us. us yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm winning at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. What do we think? We got an action movie. Uh, I think it's a franchise, but it's a new franchise. It's not. Doesn't have many. Oh, uh, um, um, John Wick. Wick. John Wick. Yeah. Uh, number nine is a is a sequel to a franchise, big franchise, one of the biggest franchises. Star Wars. Nope. Um, I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's it's a part of a franchise, but it's not. It's like this franchise presents this movie. Harry Potter. Nope. It's um. It's the last Harry Potter movie out. Well, there were those other ones that were like Harry Potter. Those were like three years ago. Two bald men fighting with each other. Oh, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. Never went to watch that, man. (laughs) (laughs) Saw that to Aldi, too. Uh, Number 10 is a... Number three. Fast and the Furious. It's a sequel. No, I care look confused, that's all. It's a trilogy. It's a completion of a trilogy. I think you might have seen this movie. I haven't seen any of these movies. It's animated. It's number three animated. Um... They'd, it's it's like a movie you see in 3D because the 3D is awesome and you're flying around. You're flying on a flying creature, a uh, fictitious, fictitious flying creature. And the, the name of the How movie? to Train Your Dragon? Yep. Number three, $160 million. Number 11 was The Secret Life of Pets 2. The Secret Life of Pets 2 made $157 million. What is, the, what is that movie even? Uh, you ever watch Secret Life of Pets? No. That's fun. Is it? Yeah. Uh, number 12 is uh, it's animated. Half animated, half real life. Anita? Anita? Battle Angel? No, no. This is it, It's sort of like that. It has creatures, small little creatures that humans people, human people compete with. Pikachu. Yep. $144 million that movie made. I actually would have expected that to have been higher. But this is the States, so possibly. Mm. Plus, it was what, PG-13? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this movie you saw, number 13 you saw. Shazam. Mm-hmm. Number 14 I saw, Quentin Tarantino's biggest movie ever. Once upon a time. Yeah, yeah. Dumbo made $114 million. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Dark Phoenix was bomb Flopped. hard. Floppy, floppy. Floppy, flop. Yep. Stupid sons of snark. <laughs> 
I got a song. We'll get to the top five after this. I got a song here. I love songs. You love songs? So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Brown, man. Talk about that for, for until while I load this up. Oh, man. Stupid Patriots. <laughs> freaking, ooh, let's just get the best receiver in football. Second best receiver in football. Mm. Uh, after Julian like Edelman? Million dollars. No. Mm. After Is he going to take Julian Edelman's place? No. No, this Fair is going to be the best receiving core Brady ever had. It's got like Edelman, Antonio Brown, Josh Gordon, the 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 dusty shell of Demarius Thomas. So they're going to be good? Yeah, they're going to be great. If Antonio Brown isn't already devolved with CTE and kills everybody on the team like Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> this is a guy named Brushy One String. Brushy One String playing a song called Chicken in the Corn. We took my friend and his name was Pancho. He said one string. The good thing. Who goes so with no when chicken in the corn? So the corn can't grow. Just featuring Anthony Kiedis. Mama, when chicken in the corn? So the corn can't grow. Don't need to brag. Where's it? So the corn can't grow, mama. Uh, when chicken corn, so the corn can't grow. Uh, uh, I used to, uh, we, we used to play Call of Duty with a friend of mine, and uh, he would blare that song Scatman, oh, yes. and we would just play the entire game playing Scatman, and we'd we start getting in verbal fights with people. <laughs> And once they start getting like really worked up about it, we'd start blaring the song just yeah. to like put a period on the end of that conversation. <laughs> and it's back it used to be like back when uh remember how I think it was like Modern Warfare Two or something, when you, you, you killed somebody, you yes. couldn't hear anybody on the other team, but when you killed somebody, right. your mic picked up for like a second, like so you could oh, hear yeah, somebody yeah. screaming <laughs> in the background like, Oh fucking campers. <laughs> like when we were playing, they would just be like, You kill someone and all they would hear was, I'm a scat man. <laughs> Or and then it would cut out. <laughs> it was good stuff. It was a good time in my life. Let's get to office. Top five moments from this office. I think this was on my top five um, TV theme songs. Mm-hmm. I believe so. Yeah, it was like an A and B with Parks and Rec. Yes, yes it was. Um... And I remember Dion giving me a lot of shit for my number one. Remember what it was? What? Remember my number one that you gave me a lot of shit for? For Office? My top, my number one uh, TV show theme song. You're like, what the? Yeah, of course you like this, you, uh, you hipster. What was it? Uh, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> yeah, but that's more just because I didn't like Cowboy Bebop, actually. I mean, I did. I did. I think I did. Also, it was a weird song, though. I don't think I liked the song. It, it was pretty zany for you. Yeah. I a, Who would have ever thought that... Our youngest uh, bops to this song. A song with accordion. Is that, is that an accordion? Yes. No, oh, this song's Fresh better. Prince, yeah. But uh, who would have thought that a song featuring accordion would be so awesome? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, down and I'm like to take a minute just sit right there. there. Of a town called so I became the prince of a town oh. called Bel Air. <laughs> it's not working. He turned everything off. Do, do, do. I'm doing this for you guys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the playground is where I spend most of my days. And a couple of guys that were up to no good Started making trouble in my neighborhood Technical difficulties I never This part wasn't like in no, Any wasn't. other opening except for the first one Yeah, exactly Might as well kick it First class <laughs> and The funny thing, yeah They, they made like a, The intro, the video for it Like had this all in there too But they cut it all out <laughs> Who would have a, a, a sitcom opening like this long? 
All right. Was this meant to be part of the episode because they have like the some, some think have the credits going and probably put this out as a single. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's true. Okay, dokey guys, let's get to top five um, office moment. Starting off, my number five. Like Gary was saying before, we started recording. We got a mix of heartwarming moments and funny moments and awkward, cringy moments. I'm gonna start off with um, a heartfelt moment. And as I was talking, I should load it up, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to do that right now. Um, Pam, in season three, I think, had an art show. And then Michael mm-hmm. come to the art show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> people are insulting her art. Um, uh, Oscar and his boyfriend-ish guy is talking about the uh, the paintings here. Pull it up. Please play. Oscar and his boyfriend are talking about the painting. And then uh, Pam is in the... Off to the side, listening. You're the one who said we needed more culture. This is culture to you? It's her first try. Yeah, on Van Gogh's first try, he drew the hands of the peasants. Meaning what? Meaning real art takes courage, okay? And, and honesty. Well, those are- Let's get for a little bit. They don't realize she's listening. Yeah, they don't realize she's listening. <gasps> then Michael comes over. How much? What do you mean? I don't see, uh price um you want to buy it well yeah yeah we have to have it for the office i mean there's my window and there's my car is that your car Uh (sighs) that is our building are you too about to cry sell paper Really I'm really proud of you, he says. Mm-hmm. Of Thanks, course, Dad. they have to throw in the moment, the awkward moment yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have something in your pocket? <laughs> 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 Chunky. Chunky? Do you want to have? <laughs> She's telling not to say anything after, too. Like, don't ruin this. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yep, my number five. It's a good moment. It is. You know, you think that Michael's such an idiot throughout the whole series, mm-hmm. but he does have some moments like that where it's like, he really is a, he's a good guy. Yep. He cares about his, his employees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's part, I, I can't find it in a clip or anything like that. Is when he went to like, I don't know. He had a he had a meeting with Jan and a client, and uh, he, he they were getting drunk, and he was like telling jokes and everything. And Jan's like, "Dude, chill, chill." And he's and, and, and him and the guy ended Tim up Meadows. bonding. Yeah, Tim Meadows, and they were like getting drunker and drunker and drunker. And then like at some point in the night, he like convinces them to sell them their products. Like he actually did. Like you could actually see oh. why he's a good salesman, oh. why he got the yeah. job that he did. Right. But you don't see that most of the time because he's too busy doing stupid shit. Yep. <laughs> you get him fired every single day. Yeah. But you see that part, and you're just like, I, I like how they had that shine mm-hmm. through. Sometimes mm-hmm. there was another time where they had done it at a job fair, or not a job fair, but like this the other career thing. fair with the kids. No, no, it, uh, I misspoke. It, it was like a place where all the offices go. And there were paper clients there. And like oh, they were yeah. all waiting in the lobby. And um, he comes down and they're like, oh, you're late. Well, like, why are you late? He's like, well, because I just secured like this person. And they're like, that's a big Staples client. or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, yeah, well, now we can sell our products at Staples. So <laughs> they're like, I underestimated you. And then he was like, well, maybe next time you should estimate me. Or something <laughs> like that. I love those little uh, wordplay he does. He's like, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. That's on my quotes for later. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I said that actually the other day. I'm just a little stitious. Yeah. Carrie, what's your number five? That comedian, you know that comedian? um, Mitch Hedberg. Hedberg, Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm reminded Uh, of when he says things like that. Yeah. My number five, it comes from um, season one. It was the basketball game. Yep. The office versus the warehouse. I just thought that whole the whole time they're playing basketball was hilarious. Like 
Michael shoots the ball from like five feet away from the hoop and he yells, that's three. And he doesn't even make it. <laughs> or he like chucks it from across court and it like lands in the rafters. Oh. And then um, he tells Roy that he, he charged him. That's a foul. That's a foul. Let me take my shot. So he goes to take a foul shot, which you don't don't even do in a pickup game. Mm-hmm. And anyway, he's at the foul line and he's bouncing, bouncing, yep. rolling the ball, bouncing the ball. At one point, he puts it down on the ground, looks up at the hoop, then picks it up. It takes him five years. And then he shoots the foul shot and doesn't even get anywhere close <laughs> to where it was supposed to be. Just, I don't know, hilarious. Dwight takes a shot, makes the shot. Instead of congratulating him, he's like, Dwight, I was open. <laughs> and then, of course, I liked when um, I liked watching Jim play basketball because he was really good. Mm-hmm. Ends up getting a bloody nose from Roy after he schooled him one too many times. Good good episode one of my favorites yes. well yep. since we're on this i might as well just tack on my favorite uh one of my favorite moments number five was when roy gave jim a bloody nose <laughs> in that same episode <laughs> also 5b was when roy showed up to uh pam's art show his class act nobody else did besides michael so and he says your Hashtag art roy did nothing wrong. is the prettiest art of all the art <laughs> <laughs> I like the part in the basketball game where he's like I don't know what's wrong with that yeah. <laughs> which number usually five? make that <laughs> number five I uh I think I got some clips for so I'll do a DNA here yeah did a thing I guess YouTube has a thing where you can make oh. select the part of the video you want so damn that one looked like it was blocked so I'm gonna have to give you a different one since, yeah, I feel like they've taken off like a bunch of. I just have to see if I can find that. Made it very hard to find clips on YouTube now. Oh come on! I had mine all set up in the right spot, and now it's. Yeah, maybe I should check right mine. Spot. Assessing the situation, mm-hmm. are they breathing? No, Rose. They are not breathing, and they have no arms or legs. No, that's not part of it. Where are they? You know what? If we come across somebody. Oof. That's my number three or four. Is that my phone? I mean, what kind of quality of life do we have there? I would want to live with no legs. How about no arms? No arms and legs is basically how you exist right now, Kevin. You don't do anything. All right, well, let's get back to it, because you're losing them. Okay, too fast. Everyone, we need to pump at a pace of 100 beats per minute. Okay, that's uh, hard to keep track. How many is that per hour? How's that going to help you? I will divide and then count to it. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Makes sense in his head. Mm. Let me fast forward a little bit. Guys, yeah. state of the beat is staying alive when you're giving someone CPR. Yep. In case any of our viewers didn't realize that. Nobody called 911, so you lost him. Okay, he's dead. Anyone know what we do next? Anybody? Rose? I have no idea. Anyone else? We bury him. Wrong. Aunt, check for an organ donor card. If he has one, we only have minutes to harvest. He has no wallet, I checked. He is an organ donor. He is. Yeah. Give me some ice in a styrofoam bucket. Here we go. Oh Dwight Why? would win in a knife fight, by the way. <laughs> 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 Cost us thirty five hundred dollars. Five thousand three hundred dollars for a dummy. Idiot. <laughs> we had CPR training at my where I work, and uh, we had to have do uh, what was it like wound packing and stuff on a dummy. And the whole time, I couldn't stop thinking of that that mm-hmm. episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say that first aid fail. First aid fail. Yes, you took my number three. Okay. That was number three? Oh, nice. Three. Um, so that's your number five. So let's go to my number four. Again, didn't load it. What is wrong with me? Yeah. Um, so Michael was promising money to kids to go to school. <laughs> Scott's tots. Scott's tots. And he reneged on the deal. Well, Zion, I am not going to be paying for your tuition. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to my main point. And that is that I will not be able to pay for anybody's tuition. Pin drop. I'm so, so sorry. 
Awful. Awful. Yeah. And but, then, like, all of the redeeming stuff that he did, you're like, oh, now that's ruined. Yes. Because you're such an idiot. Yep. You do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that is that is up there. When you ever look up, like, list of cringiest moments in yeah. the office, that yeah. is, like, up there big time. Definitely. Yep. Definitely cringeworthy. Yep. Uh, what's your number four? I had the video all queued up right where I wanted it, but right. I don't know if it's in the right spot now. And it might... I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll tell you about it. Sure. Um, number four is the entire dinner party episode. Yes. I think that was probably the best episode ever from like from beginning to end. Yes. Great episode. Um, his plasma TV. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did. If you're having a party and you need more room, boom. Look at that. <laughs> four more inches of space. <laughs> and his bench bed. And this is where I sleep. Yep. Michael. Yep. That, that's a bench. <laughs> That looks a little small. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of room. The vasectomies. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Yep, yep. And his, his poor soft teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, They're, this is my, my favorite part of it. If it'll work. They're Let's playing uh, Password or something and... He's trying to make a joke or something, and, and he's like, everybody's laughing. It's like, no, Chan's like, no, they're not. Nobody's laughing. And then, yeah, Jim's laughing. Jim's like, uh... Mm, mm. <laughs> Another cringy moment. Mm -hmm. I did. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies had mm -hmm. on a person. <laughs> and I bought this condo to fill with children. I'm so sorry that I don't want to bring it. All right. It's too I have it here. Oh, here we go. Hey, yeah. How about we take the beer sign down until our guests leave and then we can discuss it? No. No. I'm going to leave it up. I think it's high. Yeah, you can try turning it down a little bit. Give it a work. Okay. Very talented. Let me see if it maybe it's uh, the connection in yours. At least he's an artist. BFD, I'm a screenwriter. And I'm a candle maker, but you don't hear me bragging about it. No, all you do is you get me to try to work on my rich friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so she takes the dundee and chucks it into his his prized tv yep this is my favorite part <laughs> that is a two hundred dollar plasma screen TV. Let me just uh, piggyback on that. This. Oh, okay. That's nice. Everybody enjoying their meal? Jesus. I think. Hey, babe. Yeah. How about we take the beer sign down until our guests leave, and then we can discuss it. No. No. I'm gonna leave it up. I think it ties the whole room together. Jack thinks Hunter's very talented. Oh, I just played that scene. Where is uh? Oh, okay. Well, let me just play this real quick. In culture tonight, but he's I have... proposing to his girlfriend. I think from his first season. Learned even more about love. And I know you're all thinking, who is this crazy gringo and what is he talking about? Oh, that's well, Carol, his real inner. Yeah. His mm. well, he Maybe was I'm crazy like in love. Three dates. Yes. So, without further ado, Carol, Carol Stills, I would like you to do me the honor of making me your husband. Michael. What do you say? Can we talk about this in private? I didn't hear you. This is not Can what you want to hear. Can we talk about hear. this in private? No. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> and she walks away. <laughs> That's his wife in real life. It is, yes. Uh, yep. Did you know that? No. Well, 
I didn't know that. Then they get out to the car and he's like, she's like, oh, I think I'm just going to home by myself tonight. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, wait, I got this book. Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Michael. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are we doing? You're number four? Yeah, his number four is up. Yeah. You're number four? You're number four. Laying on us. Right. You brought a clip? A clip. Let's set it up. Hey, cuz. You, you can turn it down. Problems. I turned it up on the Listen, thing. Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy. All <laughs> your problems. <laughs> this is on my favorite Good quotes, too. You can turn it down in there. I turned it up in the recorder. In trouble transfers his debt to William Charles Schneider. How would that help, Creed? In Monopoly, you go bankrupt, you lose. You don't go by Monopoly, man. That game is nuts. Nobody just picks up get-out-of-jail-free cards. Those things cost thousands. That is a good point. Bankruptcy, Michael, is nature's do-over. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. Like a witness protection program. Exactly. Not at all. I've always wanted to be in the witness protection program. You turn it down, I can turn it up on here. Fresh start. No debts, no baggage. I've already got my name picked out. Lord Rupert Everton. I'm a, Rich uh, merchant of cash. shipping merchant who raises fancy dogs. Fancy dogs. That's the life. Here it comes. I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> <laughs> You know, just because you declare something doesn't mean it's, true. it's just because you say that you go on bankrupt doesn't mean. I didn't just say it. I, I declared, declared it. it. <laughs> I was on Reddit and uh, I was on one of the wrestling sites. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what it was we were talking about. But there was like, oh, this guy should just come into the Royal Rumble and do this, do X. And I, I was like, but they're like, how would, how would you even write that in there, though, like to, to, to have this guy enter the, the Royal Rumble? And I'm like, I declare entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that thing got me like 500 upvotes. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, let's see, that was your number four. You took my number three, the mannequin scene. It's great, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good one. It was a good one. Uh, so why don't we do your number three, Carrie? My, my number three is a, a heartwarming scene. Anyone that's listened to this podcast before knows how much I love Jim Halpert. It's my, my dream man. I had no idea. Yeah, this whole thing you just gave her yep. an entire week to <laughs> fantasize about this stuff. Like I didn't even him. have any dreams about him. <laughs> Which was odd. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's the scene when Jim finds out Pam is pregnant. So in that episode, they were at a company picnic and playing volleyball and Pam gets injured and they take her to the emergency room and Dwight's trying to stall the game so that she can get back and keep playing. But then they find out while Pam's at the hospital, she finds out that she's pregnant and you don't see them, you don't hear them telling mm -hmm. her this, you just see their reactions mm -hmm. and just Jim's reaction. He comes out of the room and he calls Dwight and is like, send in the subs and then just the look he just gives the camera and he's like all teary and yeah. like so yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the cutest thing ever and he nails it. His his facial expressions yes. are like the best part of the show. They are. It's what I thought when I when I dreamed about telling my husband that I was pregnant. That was the reaction that I was hoping I would get. It's and, what you... instead I got maniacal laughter. <laughs> Which I think is just more character building, you know. So, talking about it's a good story. It's a good, it's a good story to tell. Heartwarming Jim and Pam moments when he asked her out the first time. He comes into the oh interview. yeah, I almost put that one yeah. with the yogurt lids that she sends his gold medal when he goes on that job interview, oh, and okay. then he comes back. He comes back, yes. And he asks her out, and she's all like, "Yeah, I'm sorry. What was the question?" <laughs> It was such a cute moment. It was a cute moment. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, and after she gives birth and Michael goes into the room, he's like, that kid has a lot of hair. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, Dion, what's your number three? Oh, did you steal mine? You stole mine. <laughs> Okay, so this scene is also my number two. Jerk. Question. Is one of the 
basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat yeah, I got it. Bears. I'll turn it up after I edit it, so it'll sound louder. You might want to set up the scene. What's going on in the scene? Because people can't see it. I'm not even confident people can hear it. Mm. Jim is impersonating Dwight. Puts, <laughs> puts out the bobblehead. We missed Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. No, you said it already. Oh, I missed it. Uh, he puts I out, like he's the, like, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so thank you. And then he puts out the bobblehead. And then he's like, identity theft is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think I liked it, thought it was even funnier when then um, Dwight comes in the next day and impersonates yeah, Jim. And the episode Hi, he comes uh, in, I'm, I'm Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Funny comment. <laughs> He like turns the camera. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, what are we at? Number two for me. Going to get that set up right here. So they are, uh, Michael and Dwight are in a car. They're following the GPS and the GPS tells Michael go in to the lake. And uh, Michael actually goes into the lake and now he's out of the lake and he goes to to ask him to uh, for the gift basket back. Maybe you should leave. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should leave. Come on, let's leave. But before we leave, my wet friend and I are going to wait for our cabs on your nice couches. Can you call us a cab, please? I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Look, my clothes are so oh, wet. wet. <laughs> the weather. Oh, my shoes are so muddy. All right, here you go. Take it back. It's been opened. Yeah, it was mine. What's missing? We're the turtles. <laughs> Where are the Summer turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? We have an announcement yeah. to make. We seem to be missing a box of chocolate turtles with pecans, and we will not be leaving the premises until we obtain them. Hand over the turtles now. <laughs> I hate them, okay? I hate the turtles. They're gone. <laughs> chocolate turtles are very delicious mm. yeah great scene yeah <laughs> <Where are the turtles? laughs> sounds like he could be shredder yeah Where are the, <laughs> turtles? the turtles the babies the babies <laughs> Gears number two my number two was jim impersonating dwight and vice versa wow that's fucked up Dan stole it from me yes you knew i was gonna do that one don't even think the show's great and i'm ruining this episode for you <laughs> guess i just roll right into my you number love two. this yeah. show you are just jealous of my love for mm. for jim mm -hmm. that's the only reason you don't like the show mm -hmm. you've never been jealous of a real life person ever mm. he's jealous of a of a tv show character just tell me where I am in the dreams, Kay. Just tell me where I am. <laughs> I'm sure I'm where not. Where are the kids? Where are our children? Where, here, right? you, I'm sure I'm not in every one of your dreams. Positive of it. PowerPoint's boring. Currently, Dwight is barricading doorways, putting keys in locks and smashing the lock, blow-torching door handles, and <laughs> setting a fire in the hallway. While his office mates are hard at work. Smoke pours in under the doorway. No one notices. Angela, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? <laughs> what do we do, people? Oh, how did that happen? 
it's out in the hall. No, we don't know that. The smoke could be coming through an air duct. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. It's happening. That was a fucking cop. <laughs> 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 Do I take some? <laughs> <laughs> Camera guy down. Mm -hmm. It's chaos. Spokes everywhere. Angela pulls a cat out of a filing cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar is trying to get through the ceiling. Save Bandit. <laughs> she throws her cat up to the ceiling <laughs> and down through another ceiling panel. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin finds that this is the perfect time to um what's what's the word I'm looking for? Vandalize? Break not into? No, like not riot, but loot looting. Mm. Looting the vending machines. <laughs> no white light, right lights the firecrackers. <laughs> Might be a gunman. <laughs> Oscar falls through the ceiling. <laughs> 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 this is like Stanley's nightmare right here. Mm -hmm. Dying at work. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley dropped. Black is president. Or black Stanley. <laughs> hey, uh. yeah. Good stuff. <clears throat> That was almost my number one, so you got to ask yourself, what was better than the fire drill? I don't know. Something about Roy, I'm guessing. Yeah. I think I know. Roy punches him right in his stupid face. He doesn't punch him in the face, though. Tries to. Dwight is a hero. Mm. I like to imagine the episode differently. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, what's your number uh, one? Did I steal that from you? No, it's the, it. it's the whole dinner scene. I got a, th I got a scene here. Okay. Yours sounds so much better than ours. I know. I don't know why. Why didn't you just say 49ers quarterback? All right, Mike. 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 My turn. Mike. 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 My turn. Mike. 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 My turn. Babe, can you just like really? Whoa. What? What? Can you just sit down? No, I was making people laugh. Yes, I was watching Jim's face. Sorry. And he was laughing. Look. He was smiling. Look at him. He's laughing. Michael and Jan seem to be playing their own separate game, and it's called "Let's See How Uncomfortable We Can Make Our Guests." And they're, they're both, both winning. winning. <laughs> I'm going to make a run for it. Don't ever guess. I just got a message from my landlord. Apparently, my apartment flooded. Something with the oh, sprinkler. Oh no! Pam, we should probably get going and see the damage. Oh, oh. okay. Well, you don't need two of you to do that. <laughs> That's true. Dinner sounded delicious. Pam, oh. see you at home. Thank you so much. Oh, Jim, I don't think you're going to abandon this party here all by itself. <laughs> no, because everything I 
phone is there. You can buy new stuff, but you can't buy a new party. That's true. That is a great point. Come on down here. Uh, or a new wife. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at all this scene. Got a Caribbean cruise. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Michael, you're up. All right, here we go. This is going to be fun. Ready? Go. All right. First name is Tom. No, no, no. No names. No names. No rhyming. Right, right. No sound alike. Right, so okay, okay. Like you're getting it into my head. First name is Blank, and he goes on a cruise. He goes on a Caribbean cruise. I don't know. Katie Holmes. No. no. <laughs> ah! But he's married to her. Oh, Dawson's Creek. No, no, it's a real person, Jim. Come on. Okay. No, no, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Uh, oh, okay. Um, rhymes with Arnold Schwarzenegger. No rhyming. Not That's really not... a rhyme. Okay. Another clue. Another clue. Okay. He's the governor of California. He is the Terminator. Those aren't helpful. Tom Cruise. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, you love Jim. You love him. Let's just do shit like that all the time and... What game? Uh, catchphrase. Yes, yeah, catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know. He's so mad at me for doing that shit, but when he does it, it's hilarious. <laughs> That's not, I want to win. Yeah. Also, place, if he was on your team, would you find the that points endearing? on the TV show don't count? If it's him, yeah. You wicked. What did we see? We saw when I said that I wanted to have kids, and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy. What did I do? And then oh, when you said that you might want to have kids, and I wasn't so sure, you had the vasectomy reversed. And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, what, it reversed back. Stip, snap, stip, snap, stip, snap. I did. You have no idea the physical toll that three vasectomies have on a person. <laughs> and I bought this condo to okay. fill with children. I am so sorry that I don't want to bring kids into this screwed up world, okay? I'm but look, too. if you want to have kids, then fine, you win. <laughs> so can we come in <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting at the door oh my god and then Dwight brings like his babysitter <laughs> and purely up- carnal yeah <laughs> It's actually really good. Hey, hey, hey. I know you love beet salad. I've seen you eat it many times. The thought of popping one of your beets into my mouth makes me want to vomit. <laughs> you don't do that. It's disgusting. You know I have soft teeth. How could you say that? <laughs> could you say that? <laughs> Oops, she says. Give me for a second. He gets up from the table. Email? <laughs> Never mind, he says. Um, they were doing like behind the scenes interviews of that whole episode. They were all, they were all saying how like this, that was one of their favorite episodes to film and they're all laughing all the time and his, Dwight's babysitter had to keep putting food to her mouth so she wouldn't, she wouldn't laugh so she couldn't, <laughs> couldn't see her laughing. Corpsing. Corpsing, yes. Yeah. One of the best episodes of all time. Yeah, definitely one of the best. Yep. That was my number one, those things. Seen a number one a number one b number yeah. one c <laughs> absolutely uh, Good what, stuff. what's your number one my number one i'm gonna play it for you mm-hmm. badly yeah <laughs> it must be the connection you have to do from your the port must make it uh too quiet or something
just interpreted uh, our friendship. So that is the scene where where Jim confesses his love to Pam for the first time. I still get teary. I've seen it so many times. I, I, it's been like 10 years since the first time I've seen it, probably. And I still get get teary watching that. It just, it's so relatable to me. It just makes some of my feelings resurface from long ago. And Except I was Jim and, and Dion was the, was Pam. <laughs> but it's just like I can feel it. All of those feelings come back. The fear of like, what if I ruin? If I confess how I feel, it will ruin everything, and and I don't want to ruin our friendship. But I, I need him to know, and the heartbreak of being told like I, I can't right now, and it just it makes me feel like being back in that moment, even though it was so long ago. And then and and then they end up kissing, and that was one of the best kiss kisses ever. I think when they when she's talking, she goes into the office to call her mom, and she's on the phone with her mom, and then he comes up and he and he kisses her. It's a good kiss. One of the best kisses. One of the best. But yeah, I still get like I said, I get teary. Man. I was getting teary right now, even though I felt stupid in front of you guys. But <laughs> just it just. Brings back a lot of feelings. She mm-hmm. shot him down hard. You ball breaker, you. That's your number one moment. Yep. Appreciate it. Jim and I can't. I total can't. Heartbreak. I can't handle it when guys cry. Like he didn't even like cry. Cry. He just got like teary, and <gasps> I just can't. I can't handle it. Oh, okay. It breaks my heart. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? I think Pam, I just said it. I you're think Pam. I, I think I said it. Sure, Pam. I think I said it. Yeah, because I I was saying how this brings back like it just makes a bunch of my old feelings resurface. Except I was the Jim and he was the Pam when we oh. were like seventeen before we actually got together. Gotcha. He was with somebody else. You were pining for him. I was. Yeah, we were really good friends. We got along really well. I didn't know whether I should confess my feelings to him or not because he was with somebody else and I didn't want to ruin our friendship and it was a big risk. And I knew that I was most likely just going to be told, like, sorry. Mm. But I felt like it, I just had had to do it. Did you have to fight his Roy? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> no. No. His, his Royita? Roy? Royita? Roy, Royita? Royita? <laughs> No, but yeah, I mean, not with fists, with words, like high school drama. Yes, yeah, yeah. but uh, just like Jim and Pam, we we eventually got together. Oh, took a little while longer, like like with Jim and Pam, but yes, yep. When it happened, it was it was the best. It's magical. Mm-hmm. Birds were singing. What birds were singing? Church. Because just yeah. like Roy person he was with was not right for him yep i could see that he could not see that yep (laughs) (laughs) sounds like taylor swift over here yeah have you heard a new song what have you heard a new song maybe love no lover i don't know Hmm. play your clip and i'll play you a song is there anything else you wanted to say yeah is there anything else you wanted to say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, number one. <laughs> How can I forget this? Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself for forgetting this. It's not turned up. So technically they are doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so mad. Meredith is always in the bathroom. Anytime something happens, she's always in the bathroom. Yeah, parkour! (laughs) Get off me!
Okay, we all go together or we go one at a time. Here it is, here it is. Uh, truck to refrigerators to dumpster, 360 spin onto the palace. Gainer. Gainer. Gainer! <laughs> Andy jumped from car. <laughs> Andy jumped from a truck to boxes and just fell in the boxes. Refrigeration bro boxes from boxes. Um, Vance Bob Vance. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I forgot that I one. That's like my you guys forgot favorite. That too. It wasn't even on your top man. five. You disgust me. Oh man, I just oh. rethink well, everything. Just a couple. Was it honorable mentions? You know, Kevin spilling the chili. Yes, one we talked. We moments. talked about that yeah. one. Um, but the clip I tried to play was Jim and Pam got back from their honeymoon, mm -hmm. and um, Michael tells Jim <laughs> that he hooked up with Pam's mom. And Jim gets like, "It's like, no, you didn't." And he's, like, "What kind of car is she driving?" He, he names it, and he's like, "Shit!" <laughs> 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 and they end up going into his office. And and Pam's like, oh, let's give him the present. He's like, ah, he's very busy. I don't think we should. Nonsense. Let's go get him the present. So get in there. You just give him the present. And he's like, uh, the secretary walked in. And was like, I had to cancel the reservation. Or she, she's like, changed I the it, reservation from changed, four to two because yeah. he couldn't go out with Jim, Jim and Pam, Pam given the new information. And then Pam's like, oh, for Chelly's? Wow, that's, that sounds serious. Sounds like you're on a date. And he's like, no, no, it's it's not gonna work out. And, and she's like, oh, that's too bad. Well. Whatever it is, you know, I hope you guys work it out. And she's like, you want me to be happy? Yeah, I want you to be happy. No no matter what? I mean, yeah. And it's like, it's just hairy because it's, the date is someone, a mother of someone I know. A co-worker even. Ooh, Gossip. spicy. And she looks at, who is it? And she turns back. And he's like, who is it? And he's like sitting there like. Looking at him, nodding his head. And he's like, who is it? And he gets this like, look in his eyes yeah. like. Oh. Get this creepy smile. I wish. Uh, I wish I had Pam, Pam's like, eyes start like her, her mouth no. starts dropping. No. No. no! <laughs> She's <running> now. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of that of of her saying to him, "Stop dating my mom," and he's like, "I'm gonna date her even harder." Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the clip that um I found which was actually of that conference thing. But the, yes. when he was in the office, I thought that was a better one. Yeah, okay, and we were out, they were outside, and he's like. Jim was trying to cheer her up and she was like not having any of it. She's like, it's your mom too. You should be upset. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Some heartwarming honorable mention was when uh, Michael proposed to his girlfriend. Holly. Holly. When the fire alarm was going off. Mm -hmm. right? And they were saying they're going to move. Um, yeah. Honorable mentions. I have some of yeah. my favorite quotes. Sure. Bring them. Some em. of them you guys already, you already touched on, but... I declare bankruptcy. Uh, my my favorite quote, my very favorite, from Michael. If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I'd shoot Toby twice. Yep. <laughs> I'm not superstitious, just a little stitious. Yep. Uh, the one from Jim that was really funny. Remember that episode where he and Andy go on a sales call together? And Andy keeps saying, beer me that, beer me this, beer me that, instead of give me this. You remember that one? Hmm. Beer me that CD, instead of give me that CD. And God, beer he, me strength. And then he gets out of the, <clears throat> Jim gets out of the car and he's like, Lord, beer me strength. <laughs> and then, of course, the iconic, that's what she said. Yep. Obviously. Yep, yep, yep. The first one, I think one of the first ones was in the best, where Jim makes him say in front of uh, his boss, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Michael's boss's uh, name. Um, David. David. David Wallace. Yeah, he makes him say in front of that, in front of Jan, everyone. There's a weird thing I do, which is based off of The Office, which is every year, my birthday, there's a person on Twitter named Jackie Leonard. She is a uh, BBC presenter. And there's a scene in The Office where Michael calls up Jan or somebody, I forget who, and he's like, happy birthday to this person. And the person's like, it's not my birthday. Then Michael, and then Michael says, I thought we had the same birthday. The person in their line <laughs> is like... Happy birthday, Michael. <laughs> I've been doing this for like five years for, I don't know why. It's so fucking weird. I tweeted this person, happy birthday to her on my birthday. And she's like, it's not my birthday. And I'm like, I thought we had the same birthday. And she's like, uh, happy birthday. Thanks. 
<laughs> nice. Your relationship is growing. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, top five office moments. I liked when Andy punched a hole in the wall, too. Yes. <laughs> and then to go to anger management. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, one of my favorite pranks from Jim. Uh, <laughs> he, I, I, I forget who it was. I think it was Dwight. or Yeah, it was Dwight. He was complaining. He wrote a complaint to Michael. Yes, yes, yes. He smacked yes. himself in yeah. the face with the phone. <laughs> He's like, that was actually pretty tough. <laughs> I had to put a quarter in it each day in his receiver, and then I took him all that at once when he went to <laughs> I was watching a scene of Michael and Dwight. Uh, what's his name? Jim and Dwight, and, they were, and Michael was doing like mediation between the two of them and they're playing role playing one's a client and one's a, yeah, yeah. He's oh, like, butt liquor. I am oh, butt liquor. Jim was Mr. I am Mr. Butt liquor. and Deutsch like is that your name how dare you that is that is my name what can I do for you and he's like uh, do you need any paper I'm not going to buy any paper from you now he's like let me talk to your bot no he made him he goes, you need to speak up butt liquor <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Butt liquor <laughs> You know? As soon as Michael answers the phone, he's like, yeah. I, you, I like your voice. Yep. I'm going to buy a million reels yep. of paper from you. <laughs> Michael's like taking it seriously. He's like, oh, you see that? Yep. Yep. That's how you do it. Yep. There's so many moments you could do this forever. I know. I was looking online. I was like, man, that's a good one. Yep. That's a good one. How am I <laughs> ever going to? I'm never going to narrow it down to five. Uh, yes. Uh, we're talking about Taylor Swift's new song. Did you hear it? Lover. Here we go. Yeah. First time I heard it, and I heard the way she, the melody of it, the way she sings, it reminded me of a song I, I, I like a lot. And I was like, how do you just lift that right off of that? I don't know if I have. It's like, you just took Sounds that. sexy. Don't most people leave their Christmas lights up till January? Yeah. Not necessarily. A lot of people take them down right away. So, okay. It's just that one part. We replay it. Where is it? Okay. Keep this in your mind. This part. We can leave the Christmas lights up till I was like, that sounds really fucking familiar. Listen to this. This is a song called Fade Into You by Mazzy Starr. This is on like a, a Volvo commercial or some shit. <laughs> or like cotton. They do yeah. sound very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did it go? Yeah. Love her again. This I mean, doesn't seem as bad as most of her songs lately. Right. Oh, there's still chance. So where's the... Where's the part where she breaks it down? It's coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this one, I don't think. I think I think she keeps this one kind of kind of slow. Yeah. It's fine. So or, you're saying she ripped off this chick? Uh, Mazzy chick? Mazzy star, yeah. Go ahead, pause your stuff. <laughs> that too, yeah. They both ripped off Leonard Skinner, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Leonard Skinner ripped off Mozart. So, what I learned from this conversation is that there's nothing yeah. new that you can ever do in this world. No, absolutely not. Everybody gets mad about covers and remakes, but let's face it, there's not an original thought in 2019. No. Anywhere. Yeah, absolutely not. It's good song. Tuesday's gone, yeah. Pretty good. Makes me think of Happy Gilmore. That's actually, because I couldn't think of the name of the song. So I was like, <laughs> opening song to Happy Gilmore, and that's what came up. <laughs> Do some hypotheticals. <sighs> Chords are so short. What good is a chord that's like a foot long? I mean, it's great if you want this right in front of your face. Yeah, I do. <sighs> that. Shuffle, shuffle. Hey, you, shuffle, you try to shuffle with giant. I can't shuffle with regular size cards, so never mind big cards. That would actually probably be easier. Am I picking one? Sure, yeah. Uh, big cards would be easier to shuffle? Hmm. No. Yeah. Untrue. Let me see. Let's see if any of you can do it. 
So the cards are comically big. And they're they're probably twice the size as regular playing cards, width and length. <coughs> Currently Dion is micless because he didn't have a stand for his mic, so he's gonna he needs both hands to do this. Did it? He did it, of course. I even did the trick thing. <laughs> yeah, the, the bridge. The bridge. Yeah. Professional yeah. shufflers would call that thing. a bridge. Yeah. You know the terms. Yeah. Carrie, okay, what's ready? the ready? You are forced to give up one of your five senses, smell, sight, taste, touch, or hearing, in case you forgot what they were. <laughs> However, you may choose to compensate for the loss by means of synesthesia. Is that right? Synesthesia. Yeah, that's... Well, sorry, say the... Synesthesia. Say the whole sentence again. However, you may choose to compensate for the loss by means of synesthesia. That's it's a form of autism. <laughs> For example, if you decide to give up your sense of sight, you can choose to smell colors instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you give up hearing, you may opt to taste music. If you give up taste, you could replace the sensation by feeling flavors. Basically, whatever sense you reject would be reflected through an alternative medium. Which of your senses would you surrender and how would you replace it? Smell. Because smell. I can't smell shit anyways. <laughs> I mean, smell is the, the most worthless of the... Think so? Yes. Well, no. How, what no, smell that does not, taste? But think about it this way. Things you smell, I find, are more triggering for your memories. It is true. They bring it back to certain places. Any, I don't need any triggers. Better than things. hearing things or seeing things. Plus, I mean, your taste goes too if you do it. Yeah. Well, it's not. that's not how it works. It's, you're, you're losing <laughs> one scent. Sense. It's smell. Yeah, I would lose smell too. I think that's so the think, only one that I would be like, okay, wouldn't well, be devastated actually, about. Hold up. I'm going to lose the sense of taste too because you can't smell. If you hold your nose while you're eating something bad, you can't. Oh, you so, look, you're always. I'm, no, I'm not overlooking it. It's just, it's a, it's a side effect of it. You won't be able to taste if you can't smell. Well, this is magic. So you would still be able to taste. Yeah. Um, you see, you're both saying no smell. smell. It smells the one they don't give an example of. Like it says, if you give up taste, you could replace it by feeling, feeling flavors. So what is, if you give up smell, what are you, what are you replacing that with? You can hear your, hear smells. I can feel <laughs> smells. You can, no, that's, uh, you give up taste, you replace it by feeling flavors. So what's the opposite of smelling or feeling? You can, if you give up hearing, you taste music. So what is your other version of smelling unless you, we're just working in a triangle here smell you taste so smell. taste would be i don't want to taste smells that's disgusting you do all the time no you don't you, if you, you hold your when nose you're eating you literally no are doing if you go in the bathroom you can't taste poop poop particles go into your mouth you can't taste you're the tasting poop, it but you don't know you're tasting it if you give us <laughs> if you give up your sense of smell because then you, that small quantity does not have real taste to it It'd have to be right. a full piece it of It doesn't have a real taste to it. But in this magical world where we can give up a scent, <laughs> sense, then if you give up smelling. You get to choose what, how you want to compensate. I don't know. Yeah. Basically, whatever sense at, you reject. Yeah, look at the, no, look at what it says at the bottom. Uh, what, which, which of your senses would you surrender and how, oh, how would you replace it? Yeah, it's the big question that's the real meat. So you it have is. to replace it somehow. So we can't hear a smell. How would that work? Tasting is the only I way to. to replace my smell? Yeah. Yes. I would feel my smells. How do you feel smell? <laughs> How do you t feel colors? I do None feel of it like makes sense. Would be the would be the best. No, it's of feeling. Action. You feel flavors. Not, okay. How do you feel flavors? Vanilla is well, very just asking plain. Us how we do it? We're, it's just asking. <laughs> oh, how would examples. you do it? Okay, how, how are you going to replace the smell? I would feel it. I'd have to feel mm -hmm. it. How, of course, wiping your ass yeah. would be awful. No, not wiping your ass. Smelling the poop. Hmm? You can't. You don't smell anything, so it gets rerouted. Right, but if I smell it by feel, oh, right. Every time I wipe my ass, I will smell shit. No, 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 no. You'll well, feel shit. Yeah, okay, you're saying wiping your ass. We're um, replacing the sense we lost. You're replacing smell. So if you're going to walk into a bathroom and smell poop, then you feel poop every time you smell it. You the way you're putting it, and you go, when I wipe my ass. No, it's not just when you're wiping your ass. It's when you're smelling smell. it. If you were going to smell something, that is then redirected to feeling. So when you walk into a bathroom, whether you pooped or not, and or there's you poop walk in, into a public restroom, public restroom, feeling right? everyone else is pooping. Pee, uh, yeah, pee, poop, drugs, farting, uh, 
cocaine. Uh, what, do, what do homeless people smell like? Like, <laughs> like rotting milk. If you, you're gonna, do you want to feel rotting milk? Like rotting milk and um, uh, no, I die. Uh, I'm not willing to give up any of my other senses though. <laughs> Sight? What, how do you play seeing? I don't know. You can't replace any of these. That's why it's a so hard wait, wait, question. Are you saying that? Because I exist, I'd be feeling something. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. By walking into a bathroom, I, the particles in the bathroom, I would, I would be, what? And here's the other thing: you're not feeling. thinking, you're not thinking smelling. about replacing your smell. If you, the way you smell now, you, you, clog your nose, so you just can't smell. How are you going to clog your pores so you can't feel smells? How, how do you feel things right now with your skin? Right can't block your skin from feeling things if you go outside and it's muggy out or it's wet out you're going to feel that somewhere in your body right so if you replace smell with feeling every time i would would rather feel smells than taste them right but if you go if you smell if you go down the road maybe i'll hear hear my smells yeah hearing your smells (laughs) (laughs) if you go down the road right and there's cow shit everywhere that and you, you're gonna feel that around you yeah let's go with hearing it it'll just be like bad Not bad bad hair. smell bad 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 taste bad, bad give up smell. taste i would give up taste. Give up taste i would give up well no you're think about it this way you're not giving it up you're just rerouting the sensation to another sense so you're not giving up anything really when i rerouted my sensation i was rerouting to what i touch with my hands but feeling isn't just with your hands it's with your whole body think of it like a rogue <laughs> a rogue i touch something that's what i smell all right oh not so you, that it touches me so you're specifying that no, it still would have now your whole effect. body is the not you, my you whole body. you're not smelling with your whole body you're smelling with your hands yes okay I'm smelling with my hands so I, there are some flaws to it like if i'm eating with silverware mm, then you, i'm going to taste metal because i'm holding a fork you know what no. I'm no. Yes. No. Because my smell is gone. The taste has nothing to do with it. When anything uh, that goes you into your, you, you taste what you let, smell. No. You, let's say you you take away your taste and you reroute it to your to your hands, right? You put something in your tongue, you feel it in your hands. So you want to limit it to your just your hands. And, and we're and taste and smell are two separate things. I know in real life they are not. Some point They're you connected. Smell my fork. Yes. Okay. Sure. The same, same, essentially the same thing. I mean, smelling a fork is not a bad thing, <laughs> but it's not tasting my food. That's the thing. That's okay, the, that's yeah. part, there are. Flaws I give up. Of, I would just smash my face into my plate and eat it like a dog. <laughs> that's what I was going to get at. I give up taste because I, I feel like I taste things or I eat things that are supposed to taste a certain way or taste, you know, like you can taste the smoky after blah blah blah. And I don't, I never, I don't have good taste. You don't have a refined palate. I don't have a refined palate exactly. Exactly. You would give it up and replace it how? Hands, I guess. Like you said. If I anything, so something in your hand? No. So something tastes are, delicious. You would have a good tingling, feeling in a your A tingling in my hands. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's not satisfying. But I don't, I, my palate is not satisfied anyway. So I, like she said, I don't have a refined palate. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a sensitive tongue. So like if I eat something that's supposed to have a subtle aftertaste of whatever, that's, I don't, I don't taste that. Either I can't taste it, or I, I'm not aware of it, or I don't have that. I think when I went, remember in school when they were like, this part of your tongue is the sour part, and that part of your <laughs> tongue is the salty part. I think I'm missing those. I'm missing some of those. I, that's not true, right? It's not part of your tongue. No, I no. don't think so. No. Do you think you would lose weight? No, no. You think you would eat more? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like. My desire to eat is based on stress. <laughs> I feel like eventually you're going to be stressed out that you can't yeah. taste normally. <laughs> no, I, I can't taste normally either. It's just like I, I got some wings today and I'm like, all right, I can taste the overwhelming sensation of barbecue, but I can't taste like the the meaty crispiness or the, you know, in whatever else there is. The you know? juiciness. The juiciness, the, the seasoning and the skin, the, the, the juices in it. What's your question? <laughs> I like that one. I think we did that one. Okay. How do you know you like that one? That well, I, I, did like, that one I like, like the one time. we just did. Oh. Uh, all right. You have a brain tumor. Though there is no discomfort at the moment, this tumor will unquestionably kill you in six months. 
However, your life can and will be saved by an operation. The only downside is that there will be a brutal incision to your frontal lobe. After the surgery, you will be significantly less intelligent. You will still be a fully functioning adult, but you will be less logical. You will have a terrible memory, and you will have little ability to understand complex concepts or difficult ideas. The surgery is in two weeks. How do you spend the next 14 days? I can't do anything after the surgery. I'm dumb. I'm better. Well, you're dumb. You're alive, but <laughs> you're not <laughs> as mentally acute as you were. I don't know. That's so depressing. <laughs> what am I going to do the next 14 days isn't really anything different than if I didn't know I was going to get surgery. You wouldn't like double down on your reading? Oh, I'd right. I'd probably like yeah. visit, visit museums and I don't know, like learned stuff. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think that'd be more... Hmm. I guess not because you wouldn't understand what you're looking at. You will have a terrible memory. I mean, I already do. Can't imagine it worse. Um, oh, I know. I'd get all. I would try to get like all my affairs in order. You know. You will have little ability to understand complex concepts or difficult ideas. Well, I mean, already that rules this game out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd get like all of my, all of my, um, like my will, my will done, and mm. then so that after I'm dead things are not you know it's all fuck, screwed it's up it's a fucked up question it's like it's like flowers for Algernon when he was getting dumber and dumber you know he knew he was gonna get dumber right did you read that book Charlie I don't remember I did read it but I don't remember <laughs> this is more you know I read that one flowers for Algernon was about a mentally challenged person who got an operation or something he took, took, took a drug to make him really, really smart but then went back down and he could feel himself getting dumber and knew it was gonna happen well, getting back to the level that he was at. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's depressing. It was interesting written. Interestingly written because it was written in his voice. So at, when he was mentally challenged, it was written in that voice. And mm. then as it progressed, it got better written. Now, did he take any measures to make life for himself later better for when he got dumb again? I don't remember. I don't remember what happened in that like, book. I'm going to use my genius to make some money right now for my borderline <laughs> mentally. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Is it, are you dumb at the be or are you super smart at the beginning of this or just regular? No, it's you? just you. But after this operation, you're going to be much worse. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> Definitely going to change the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that is really fucked up. That's basically, you're basically dead at that point. You know, it's like, how are you going to prepare for your death? Your mentally death. No, I mean. Mentally deficiency. Your mentally deficiency. you're still, like, well, you'd still be Take care of it now. capable of love and, like. Yeah, you just don't understand you complex just, yeah, ideas. Yeah, complex things. Well, it also says you will be significantly less intelligent. Yeah, that sucks. Fully functioning adult, less logical, terrible memory. And literal ability to understand complex That's things. fucked up. That's really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, Trump in office won't bother you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we you could actually probably vote for him at I that point. I would vote for him. Uh, he, would, he would be my golfing partner. We could have great conversations because I'd probably be on his level of intelligence. Actually, golf is pretty complex. I don't think you'd be able to <laughs> grasp that. Well, he can play it, so <laughs> can't be that Ooh, hard. There it is. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Can you believe he's a, he's a, he's been obsessed over that fucking Alabama thing for the past week? Mm. Like he gets on these fucking tangents, but this is a long one. This one he's not letting go. Mm. I feel like he lets go of things after a while, but this has been like a whole week. Wow. It is Alabama. My turn, I guess. Um, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, here we go. We you got know what I mean. CFL, that's uh, college football stuff. Canadian football. Canadian. Canadian football future. You know Someone I mean. build an optical portal that allows you to see the vision of your own life in the future. It's essentially a crystal ball that shows you a randomly selected image of what your life will be like in 20 years. You can only see into this portal for 30 seconds. When you finally decide to peer into the crystal, you see yourself in a living room two decades than you are today. Then you 
two decades older than you are today. You were watching a Canadian football game and you were extremely happy. You were wearing a Canadian Football League jersey. Your chair is surrounded by books and magazines that promote the CFL. There are CFL pendants covering your walls. You're alone in your room, but you're gleefully muttering about the historical moments in Canadian football history. It becomes clear that for some reason, unknown reason, you have become obsessed with Canadian football in the future and this future is static and absolute. No matter what you do, this future will happen. The optical portal is never wrong. The destiny cannot be changed. The next day, you are flipping through television channels and randomly come across a preseason CFL game between the Toronto Argonauts and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Knowing your in inedible future, do you now watch it? Yeah, I would. Like, what the hell is this all about? <laughs> no. Why do I become obsessed with it? No, I would not watch it. Have watched it. You have not watched good. it? Good. CFL is not good. No. Is it football or soccer? Football. Okay, because football around the world is soccer. Yeah. Who was in the CFL? Sure. There was some wrestler that was in the CFL, wasn't he? The Rock. The world with the Rock in the no, CFL. He was college. There was somebody that won the CFL, then came out of it. Manziel hmm. went to the uh, CFL for a bit. Hmm. Failed. Hmm. Uh, I've been with the Rough Riders. Now, no. Sure. This is another question of like, are you going to determine your future? Like whatever is going to happen in the future. Like that, that operation wasn't inevitable. This future is inevitable. It's like. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, do you want to get to that point faster? Or? Yeah. Slower. How are you going to spend the next 20 years of your life? I mean, I'm not going to become obsessed with it but i might watch it for five minutes and be like what is this what is yeah. this about the only reason i can think of for wanting to watch that <laughs> football would be like one of my kids was playing on the team yeah that's mm. all i could think of so yeah if they're gonna play yeah. canadian football yeah i should I got be a kid a, playing canadian football sure. that's the only reason i can think of for watching canadian football yeah otherwise i'm just gonna say goodbye to all my friends i guess because <laughs> i won't have anybody if i admit that i watch canadian football <laughs> that's such a bizarre thing of like this is gonna happen this this your future is determined what's my future you're gonna love football a lot <laughs> so that basically saying none of your decisions matter actually i will maybe we'll, we'll say canadian football is the only football league still surviving Ooh. by that point because of all the cte maybe they evolved past um they they found the, yeah. the perfect blend of Violence, maybe the American safety, maybe America's empire finally collapsed, and we and and Goodell was just like, you know what, I'm tired of doing all this stuff. And the NFL just turned into a bunch of juice heads, and they just all yeah eliminated themselves on the field. What else I listening to about football, about uh, CTs and stuff like that? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, good podcast, gaming, good gaming podcast slash football they talk about football and gaming together now that now that it started they talk they're talking about football and talking about how uh gronk how you get Andy to show up for that yeah oh uh, it's called <laughs> it's called waypoint waypoint radio really good show they do like twice a week anyways they're talking about uh gronkowski did you know this uh, during one of the his super bowl wins after the super bowl win he had to drain his knee because it was full of blood yeah yeah it wasn't his knee it was like his thigh thigh or something it's awful it's awful. Yeah. That's actually the driving. Well, if he could sum it all up in a play, mm. that's the one he said, like brought it home for him mm. where he's like, I'm going to retire because mm. he's like, I won the Super Bowl. And then I was in bed crying for like a week after I won the Super Bowl. Who's in bed crying for a week yeah. after they won the Super Bowl? Yeah. So that's, that's one of the reasons. It was a discussion that feared, uh, came off of uh, Andrew Luck retiring. Because I guess he's uh, very unhappy with uh, just his career. He's like, this is not what I signed up for. This is not, I'm not happy playing anymore. Yeah. I mean, you get hurt, you come back, you get hurt, you yeah. come back, you get hurt. Yeah. That, that's obnoxious. It's fun to play, but mm. to have to constantly rehab, yeah. that's exhausting. Yeah, yeah. Mentally exhausting. Plus, you have an organization that mm. the Indianapolis, yeah, Indianapolis Colts are just yeah. shit tier. Yeah, yeah. At <laughs> protecting their. <laughs> Their assets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Almost as bad as Redskins. <laughs> it was a very uh, wide ranging uh, discussion about football in general, about the whole, you know, toxic, toxic culture of just. Did you know, like, the it was about the patriotism and about the um, 
the, the national anthem wasn't played in baseball or in major league sports until like the early 90s. Like that wasn't part of the whole culture of it of like, oh, we football is America. America is football. America is, you know, a military. And if you, you don't support any of those things and you don't support America and shit like that. Yeah. Very cool discussion they had about yeah. all that stuff. It's all money. What it yeah. Comes down to. Sure. Capitalism. <laughs> Uh, here you go. They 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 jumped on that before. Well, I mean, like baseball is America's pastime, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure you get like troops and stuff to go to that. But yeah, like that. basketball, you never see troops at basketball. They don't advertise that kind do of. They thing. Do they do the national anthem? They do the national anthem before yeah. Facebook basketball but, games. I mean, they might do it for every game. It's just not televised yeah. for every game. Remember Fergie did the national anthem? Oh really, yeah, it was awful. Really? They all laughed at her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we made a remix of that of her that point where she was doing some. She was trying to hit a no, and she's like missed it completely <laughs> somebody made a remix out of it it's pretty good I have to watch that she I pee only heard pants? about it hmm? did she pee her pants while doing it <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say yeah really really good great podcast very smart smart um, discussions about games go ahead so, mm, that's really long do we want a long one not really it's <laughs> a do lot you, to remember do you want to do a little bit at the end here about video games I'm playing a lot of games I got, a, I got a monitor, computer yeah, monitor. Sure, man. Okay. I'm talk about games with you. I just right. recently played a video game. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Still Lego working on Avengers. it. Avengers. Huh? And Lego Avengers. And Lego Avengers. Nice. Yeah. Is that um, is that like the other Lego games where it's just you collecting stuff? This is my first Lego game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, we, I bought like three mm. for my kid on his birthday because they were all like five bucks yep. on PSN. So. Yep. Bottom, and we're almost at a hundred percent with this one. Yep. So then we'll move on to the next one. Mm-hmm. What's the next one? It's like Marvel superheroes, but this one is Avengers specifically. Marvel superheroes is like just all of them, I guess. Does he want to watch the movies now? Even though this this cast has like a hundred. Yeah. Like yes. Characters. He would. If we let him, I, he <laughs> lets him watch some of the stuff, yeah. but he yeah. really is only interested in like the fighting. Right. Yeah, he'll fast forward to fighting scenes. <laughs> it's pretty fun. He doesn't but, really want to see any of that. He wants the action. Yeah. It was funny. We were out. I was out doing yard work today, and he's running around with his Captain America and his Iron Man, and uh, he had Hulkbuster too. And he's like taking Cap Shield in his hand and pick up Iron Man, and I'll hit him with the shield, and Iron Man will go flying. I'll pick up Hulkbuster and hit him with the shield, and I'll go flying. And then, like, I'm over there trimming a tree, and I hear him like. I gotta get my f- the vibranium shield. <laughs> I'm like, that was really close, dude. I was trying to say vibranium. Yeah, it's because I yeah, it's because I've been reading all these stories. <laughs> but at five years old, he yeah. knows that it's a vibranium shield. What, what are you reading? <laughs> Oh, he's got this book that's like this thick. Five of, minute short stories. Yeah, five of, minute Avengers or oh, whatever yeah. that's cool. superhero story. Nice. So, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> There's also little books like I am or Iron Man, Spider Man, but Captain um, America. I mean, I knew the major ones, yeah. but Squirrel Girl, Squirrel Girl, yeah, never heard of her. She's really powerful. Um, Ms. Marvel, <laughs> Ms. Marvel, yeah, Kamala Khan, yep, yep. Um, Thin Fan Foom, Captain Marvel, Thin Captain Fang Marvel. Foom. Fang Fang Foom, yeah. Do they yeah. do they do uh, what's his name? The Thor guy. He's he's like Thor, but he has a axe. Uh, I don't think so. No, got his name. I remember that one? Okay. What's the question? For whatever the reason, two unauthorized movies are made about your life. The first is an independently released documentary, primarily comprised of interviews with people who know you, and oh. bootleg footage from your actual life (laughs) critics are describing the documentary as brutally honest and relentlessly fair (laughs) meanwhile columbia tristar has produced a big budget biopic of your life casting major hollywood stars as you and all of your acquaintances though the movie is based on actual events screenwriters have taken some liberties with the facts Critics are split on the artistic merits of this fictionalized account, but audiences love it. Which film would you be more interested in seeing? The Hollywood one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah Hollywood. 100. Yeah. Here's my question for I'd you, I'd like though. to see who's playing my friends, who, what actors are playing me and my friends yeah. and my family. I've got two different questions. One is for one and one's the other one. What would... 
the um un oh, the the first option what was the what, indie how, movie the indie movie of montages raw, of your life the raw ones yeah um what move, what would that focus on you what would be the the, the plot for that <laughs> it would be pretty boring i think for his life I if wasn't talking. Was... I was talking mostly to Damon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like cycling, a lot of cycling, a lot of long shots, a lot of montages of cycling, probably video game. A lot of me sitting there <laughs> playing the video games. <laughs> Different angles. Different angles. Is it yeah. Black and white, or is it color? I mean, it's color, but it's <laughs> like me raging. It's all of these like, it's all of those like. Um, what do you call it? You know, when they when stuff comes out of like a uh, uh, video of somebody beating the shit out of somebody or making ra- racial epithets, it'd be like, can you believe? And then Damien started saying this and that. Can you believe the things he's saying? Can you believe the pornography he's looking at? <laughs> what a disgusting <laughs> human being. And my God. That's one of my questions I was going to ask. Do you think the, the J.O. session that they're going to get with you, <laughs> is it going to be like... Like intense, yeah, and sad, <laughs> <laughs> or just like just sad. It have like it have like Chris Hansen be like, I don't, I can't do anything with that. That's too much. That's not. I'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> That's out of my jurisdiction. I need to get with fucking NATO. I need to get the international tribunal in here for this shit. That's beyond my pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> do you, what would your indie film be? Just. The montages. I don't know. What's the yeah. most like, like cinematic part of your life? The birthing, or the births, the um, the the. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Would there be like monologues? <laughs> I don't. My life's I think pretty boring. Like the, I don't the, see like how gym, anyone would want to. What you're saying the 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 number one office scene for you, where mm. like the gym was uh yeah, would that moment would you have like would that be one of the the focal points maybe yeah I, you like know you what? that's probably the most going. interesting thing you know that's our love that, story is like something that people might be interested i, don't, I think it's a pretty epic love story we have to our do love story i don't think that anything in my adult life is very interesting you have to do who you want to play as you then we'll go around and pick who we want to play as each other yeah actually that was one of my questions okay like, in the big budget movie the big budget movie. Who would be the actor? Okay, yeah, we'll do indie and the big yeah, budget. Indie. So, I mean, well, you got to get the. That's way too much for me to think. Of. <laughs> you just do what you can. I don't even Real know quick, what. Indie. If yeah. you went with the big big budget, yeah, would the J O the the J O sesh yeah. have like explosion effects? <laughs> yeah, so would. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guy that can play me. Hold on, you go ahead with yours. Who, you, who would play you? I don't. I'm the interviewer here. Oh. <laughs> you have to. You, okay. You know. Big budget. It's Brad Pitt. Zach Efron would play you. Zach Efron would play me in the indie. He's not an indie actor. Well, my story is not very indie, so. It's just going to be like scenes of like chiseled jaw and abs. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your story? For what? Like, what would be, what would your story follow? Are we talking Hollywood? Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I mean, we have to take it a, a step higher for each one because they embellished. So, mediocre athletics um, would put me at, like, actually making school sport teams. So, I, I guess I could be, like, good at sports for school uh, I, I think it would probably focus on oh man I don't know just oh you know what it would probably be I I went big with my backyard wrestling you know yeah we made it you know <laughs> that's what and, I was gonna uh, say my promotion got huge yep and we, we were the talk of uh, talk of the town Rival Vince McMahon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And who would play you in that? Brad Pitt would still play you in that movie. Brad Pitt, yeah. 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 Who would play me? Who would play you? Um, Pam. No. Hold up. <laughs> uh, um, what's your name? From uh, is that British chick that's married to Jim in real life? Emily Blunt. Yeah. No. He doesn't like her. Wow, okay. Damn. <laughs> he likes Pam better. We've had this discussion. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> he would rather you'd rather have a, a a wife swap with Pam than with <laughs> Emily Blunt. Uh, oh yeah, here's the list. All right. Oh yeah, duh. yeah. You're Natalie Portman. Yeah. Yeah. Who would also be my choice if I had to do a uh, the the indie film. Mhm. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. We're big with back hair wrestling. Tom Hardy. Right there. Beard of Tom Hardy. Shaved head and top bearded Tom Hardy. For for me. Big budget. Or? Big budget. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we were, if I were Natalie Portman and you were Zac Efron, I feel like they have a pretty big age gap, don't you think? Well, she thinks like she's now. quite a bit older. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday's coming up. Mine's not like for another year, two, two months. We are the same age as of right this Every right now. Every time she has a birthday, I, I then start saying that she's a whole year older than me. Oh, yeah, it's coming up, isn't it? Next week. Yep. Never forget. You better not. <laughs> what do you have planned? I hope it's big. <laughs> Something's big. <laughs> Corey stole a Got a big it. chunk Cause I'll put my bike in it <laughs> Put your bike in it Okay Yeah okay. Indy Indy me Indy Corey stole Corey stole I don't think a whole lot of our viewers Gonna know who uh, that is Uh bad guy from AMN 1 Okay Yeah Yeah My care Give us one What Big budget Let's go Natalie Portman That's my big budget that's mine too. That's my indie. It's big budget too. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. both. That's what you're going with. Mm-hmm. All right, who plays me? Is that in, my, in my dreams. Or yeah. Is it Jim Halpert? I'll throw this microphone at you. <laughs> in in my version, you're Scottish. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me which made the jubblies. <laughs> which made our love story even more triumphant because we were from two separate continents we made it work <laughs> yeah now well if you're from Ireland and you're in uh, England it'd be two separate countries pretty soon well no not England Scotland Nor- Northern Ireland and, and Scotland will be two, two separate countries pretty soon because of Brexit Brexit I can't say Brexit mm. Brexit for sure they have to have the a divider now well if Brexit happens a new wall that's what it, well, yes basically that's what happened in the 90s in the 80s and 90s with all the bombings it was because they had checkpoints you don't have checkpoints you don't have boundaries you don't, you don't have as much uh, bombings and shit terrorism oh just the fact well we need more of that I'm so. just stating facts here um wrapping up here uh let's see I'm trying to think of somebody for Carrie play Carrie um Jessica Biel. Jessica All right. Biel, huh? I'll take it. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, you could be Justin Timberlake. It'd be great. Yep. Are they still a thing? Yeah, I think so. Yes, I believe wow. so. Good for they them. Have a kid. A boy. Linda Fort- Is he beautiful? Linda Fortini. <laughs> I've never seen. I know his name's Silas. Linda Cardellini, though. sorry. Pouting lips. Um, do you know Hawkeye's wife? Nope. Him? I don't either. Linda Fortini? For, no. Yeah. Cardellini. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. I think we did it, guys. Bam. 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 We did the thing. We did the thing. How about top five Parks and Rec next week? I um, won't have five. Just to summarize. Yeah, I, I will come in enough. and I'll tell you I don't have You haven't five. watched enough? I have only, yeah. I mean, I've watched Maybe it, but I not like the I office. I wipe and still. <laughs> <laughs> There's the, I fell into the pit. There's that whole thing. There's a, where he is naked. And he's actually naked. He comes to the door naked. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. Chris, Chris what's Pratt his name? Yeah. Comes to the door naked. All mine would just be Rob Lowe. Yes. Yeah, Rob Lowe would be up there, I guess. Uh, well, Swanson. Oh, yeah. Some manly things that he says or something. Yeah. Absolutely. Manisms. I don't know what he calls them. When they tried to get him to eat a banana. <laughs> He's like gagging. <laughs> 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 uh, that, oh, 
office moment. He's like, the the the, the flasher. And Dwight comes in. And he's like, I'm removing all bananas from the break room. <laughs> and he's like, phallic, phallic. And he's and what he say? He's like, he called Phyllis phallus. Yeah. And he's like, phallus. And he's like, I'm sorry. Penis in Got the brain. Penis in the brain. <laughs> so before we go, if you want to write in uh, b i s i c k l b i s i c k l c k l e at gmail dot com, bicycle on Twitter, rate us, review us on iTunes or on iTunes. Tell a friend. Any reviews? No. <laughs> reviews. I don't know that I want any reviews. Right. Good or bad? Neither. Eh, I mean, good ones. Sure, <laughs> why not? Everyone wants good reviews. Yep. I'll take a bad. Take a bad review? I, can I, I be better? I do not like criticism. I, Anybody? I think you might know this. I just want somebody to write in. Oh, one thing. Aldo, write in. Somebody write in. Uh, who else? Aaron, write in. Aaron doesn't listen. Stuff. I thought he listens. Aaron, Aaron said stopped he stopped listening, listening once I started. He pretty much said that. That's awful. <laughs> That's an awful thing to say. I was like, cool, dude. The first, like... He's like, I lost interest. negative thing. I'm like, hmm, fuck. Uh, unintentionally negative. Usually, Carrie had uh, rave reviews from people <laughs> from joining this show. No, nobody's ever given me a review. Oh, I've heard. They, they like having the, the female Who? presence. Nobody. Aldo, Lynn. As far as I know. One of my favorite actors right now. Beyond that? Well, if that's true, then thank you. <laughs> Do what I can. <laughs> All those you things are necessary for the show. Why? <laughs> necessary? To rein this dude in. <laughs> Who's necessary to rein me in? Her. What do I do oh, to rein him in? It was, I suppose I, I, I let you run roughshod. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I was saying like uh, uh, the environment that we're in and the, you being here sort of, you know, ke- keeps us grounded as far as debauchery <laughs> this this podcast would devolve into debauchery if you mm. if we weren't here my voice is definitely yeah kept at a lower volume <laughs> yeah. lower volume in like the, in this I th- studio i think we're kept to topics better here um i think it, the time i think the time amount of time on the show gets reduced and then you know i think people look at a podcast and be like three hours i'm listening to that shit i think people look at stuff like it's an hour hour and a half two hours i, I think mean, it's more we could crack down on that i think it's more digestible at that length mm-hmm. speaking Go of back in time to like <laughs> podcast number five yeah we'd still be talking about cutting down our podcast <laughs> length. <laughs> what's a what's the ideal length one hour one, one hour. hour yeah let's try for that next week okay Sure. So <laughs> that's the thing, though. Like <laughs> with three people battle. who have a top five, it's that it takes up a lot of time. Well, yeah. Flash to round. I cu- oh, yes, that could do that. Well, I cut out the Riddle Shakespeare. I, I tried to reduce the topics. I had like five topics today. So actually, next week I'm coming with some Riddle Shakespeare. Okay. I'll put you on glass because I'm obviously well, yeah. very good at this game, you and are. it's not even fair. So no. Okay. So, for Can I Say Something, I have been Damien. Dion. Champ. The loser. Love you. Spread love. Love you. Yep. First set of boobies in a video game I saw. Um... Leisure Shoot Larry. Uh-huh. Right? Or, uh, yeah, probably that. Uh, they had those adventure games, like Full Throttle. And, yeah. Jack like hmm? Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem, yeah. On the yeah. wall, the poster on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first game you saw boobies, the first game you could flush a toilet, right? Was it? I think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love those games. Yeah, first boobies in the, well, first good boobies were probably like God of War. Yeah, that's actually uh, that's, uh, <laughs> w- the ones that like actually had shape of being a boob. <laughs> you played through The Witcher, right? Those are some titties. Oh yeah, Jesus. Oh man, I went on a a mission to see all the boobies, and that backfires on you. Did you know, <laughs> did you know that? Yeah, they set you up. You get the bad ending. Yep. 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 Felt bad, man. What's your name? Uh, Tris, Tris and uh, Marigold Tris Marigold and Tris Marigold and what the hell was her name I don't know the redhead no Tris was the redhead oh yeah the, the 
brunette was um i don't know that chick that chick but yeah. then you can see that that witch chick <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you can you can like end up having intercourse and then like killing her later on mm-hmm. not like grand theft auto type thing but like she she goes to this island and and she wasn't supposed to do it and mm. you're like i can't let you leave and if you do the right thing mm. then you know it comes to blows but so fuck mary kill tris yennefer yennefer or siri siri is the blonde was the bl- platinum blonde oh fuck mary kill yeah i, I remember <coughs> oh. i mean i'm going to <laughs> fuck yennefer i'm going to Oh, Mary Tris and kill Siri. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played through that whole game. Good game, right? Actually, I might reverse Tris and Yennefer. Mary Yennefer. Kill Tris. Kill Tris. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Siri was like the younger one, right? I was like his daughter. Right. <laughs> Daughter-in-law. Jennifer was like your partner, and Tris was like your, your your what do you call it, your... OG love. On the side chick. Well, in Witcher 3. Your, uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you call this on the side chick? Your fucking... Side oh, piece. She's my... The, the, like, professional side piece. <laughs> Concubine? <laughs> like, in the back in the day, everyone had their wife and their... Oh, mistress. Mistress, yes. Mistress. Surprise. Professional side check. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to play Cyberpunk 2077? Uh, I don't know. Are you into Cyberpunk aesthetic? That uh, look? I mean, I don't hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Have you played Cyberpunk stuff? No. They had one called D- Deus Ex something. Deus Ex, not Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Re- The Revolution, something okay. like that. I played some of that. Played a lot of PC good looking games. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a monitor. Two days ago. I've never had a monitor for the computer. I always play on the TV. And the TV maxed your frame rate at 60. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking, oh, it can't be that much better playing 120 hertz, playing at, you know, 1440p, higher resolution, higher frame rate, higher frame rate. So, <laughs> you know, I've had a computer for like three years. I haven't got, I haven't got a monitor. I'm just playing the TV. I'm like, this is fine-ish. Fine, whatever. I set up the monitor and I'm like... I put I check up the resolution, check up the graphics, check up the frame rate, and I'm like, this isn't better. This isn't better. This isn't better. This is fucking great. It's fucking great. It's openly <laughs> weeping. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um playing stuff on the monitor on the monitor means better graphics, better frame rate, but also better input lag. So I am playing better. <laughs> You're playing better. Playing better games. It has helped you <laughs> play better. Yeah. Uh, playing Rocket League, playing Fort, not Fortnite, Apex, um, some other games. Yeah, Sky, uh, not Skyrim. Uh, Snowman Sky. We were talking about that last week, right? It looks amazing. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I got a, I got a, like the monitor here. It's a twenty-seven inch. I probably should have gone twenty-four. It's a little big, but I can do that thing where I prop up the table and sit back, and it's doable. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks okay. very nice. It's very um, immersive. The stuff I was talking about last week with No Man's Sky where I was saying, you're giving me too much shit. I got too much money. And I didn't have too much money. What that was was they're giving me like a down payment. Like here's a <laughs> here's a million dollars. Go out and look for a new ship because the first ship they give you has like 12 slots or maybe even less. And you fill up those slots very quickly with upgrades. Like the basically, basically it's you have the, your basic thruster, your basic warp drive, and your basic like thrusters or whatever and those are three slots so you're but not so right off the bat you're down to like seven slots mm. so then your upgrades take up more slots but then you have your you know shit you get your minerals and shit that you fill up even more slots with so so then i have to go out so then i'm look going out looking for a better ship like the minimum ship price is like four million credits so that's not right. that's that's nothing that's the, you know right there a million dollar a million credits is nothing so then I was talking about how they were giving me all this, all these skill points, all of these, um, what are they called? Nanites. The nanites let you upgrade your shin, let you buy better blueprints to make better components to upgrade your, your, uh, 
multi-tool thing to mind. You can mine shit. It's a weapon. It's a mine thing. So you can mine things and you can, it's a terrain manipulator. So it's just thing in the ground and you go right through the ground and go get that thing. So that thing also has upgrades too. You can upgrade the, you know, the mining thing. You can upgrade the terrain manipulator. You can upgrade the scanner. It's also a scanner and a weapon all in one. So all of those things have upgrades and all of those things, even one, like a basic upgrade is like 60 credits. And the guy gave me like a thousand. I was like, all right, I can upgrade There's a lot of shit, but like an S tier upgrade, the best upgrade you can get, the, the best module you can get is like 500 credits. So the guy giving me a thousand credits didn't really mean shit because if I want to fully deck out my multi-tool and, and up in S tier upgrades, I need like, you know, 5,000 credits or whatever, a lot of credits. So then, yeah, the rest of the game just just blew up after that. I <laughs> When I talked to you last week about it, it was like, you know, maybe five hours into it, I've gone to one planet. Um, after that, after I got home, I got a freighter. You get a freighter in this game where it's this gigantic, you know, Star Destroyer looking thing from Star Wars, right? And from the, from the freighter, you can send out frigates, these little scouting mission dudes that go out into the universe and find shit for you, you know, mm. find planets with, you know, minerals and shit. And then yeah, I'm just upgrading. I'm, I got a new ship finally, more more inventory space. So yeah, I'm doing that whole thing. And it looks, it's one of these games where every time you're doing the repetitive stuff, but every time I zoom in, every time I warp to a new star system, and it goes, you know, but then you stop, you slow down, and you enter this new star system, and it's like holy fuck, you know, you got a fucking stars and nebulas and fucking shooting stars and asteroids and all this shit pops in when you're playing that like on a you know on a monitor a giant monitor right in front of you on, on a high frame rate it looks fucking amazing mm-hmm. every time i pop into a new star system i'm like holy fuck you gotta it, you always you always pop in next to a planet so you have like you know the ring the overall ring of the planet sitting in front of you you've got that like the if, if it's a water planet you got that blue planet in front of you then you've got another you got a moon next to you so that's floating next to you and then you've got all this shit going around i'm like holy fuck this is amazing so then you can you first thing you do is you go into the, the next station you come into the station you sell all the shit whatever you have on you you talk to people get like you know learn learn new words and then you go in and you turn in your missions if you got any missions to turn in and you're fucking flying and then you you know you look for upgrades and all these little it's all these little things that 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 game doesn't tell you of like these little on on the table in front of the npc guy there's like little uh cubes and you click the cube which isn't isn't obvious at all it just looks like a normal cube sitting on the guy's desk you click that and you get more credits or more uh, nanites from that and another thing they don't tell you is say you're a guy selling shit right there's a room behind you you can see the room behind you and there's nothing there you walk into the room and there's this um, pod sitting there an empty pod you all walk up to the empty pod suddenly a hologram of your exosuit shows up and he's like do you want to upgrade your inventory space it's like how do you not have a thing telling me to go there like I'd spend the first like five hours with, with like eight slots and on you know on my on my suit on myself, and so every time you go into a space station, you have to remember to go to that guy, and then so you can upgrade your suit. It's one of those things where every time you upgrade your uh, your inventory, the first time it's like ten thousand, six time it's twenty thousand, yeah. next time it's thirty thousand. So it's, it's that sort of deal. So, yep, it's a cool game, very cool game. Uh, I think it's I think it was thirty dollars. It's on it's on PS4. Um, highly recommend for you. We're playing it just for you if uh we can play together now i think the last update they did like last month let let multiplayer be a thing okay the this game has been out for three years and wow three years already yeah and if you remember the trailer that came out for it at the very beginning it was like you can explore the galaxy with your fucking friends and there's fucking dinosaurs and there's fucking first of all i haven't seen a dinosaur yet the biggest thing i've seen is like um you know those two-story buses in London, like that size of a fucking creature. Mm. It was like a little, it was like a little jerky-looking dinosaur uh, T-Rex thing, but it wasn't a T-Rex. You know, it's like it's yeah. like shaped in the shape of a T-Rex. But yeah, I haven't seen anything that big. Any, I haven't seen any creatures that big at awesome. all. At the beginning, you can search the galaxy with your friends, and you couldn't do that. No, <laughs> you couldn't do that at all. Nope. I think there was like an update they made like six months later, and they were like. You can tell your friend where you've been, yeah. and they can go there after you. And wow. there, yeah. But now it's actually multiplayer, and now there's actually stuff in there, so you can do that with me, or you can do it with your kid, or whatever, because it's a very kid-friendly game. Mm. There's no blood or guts. Um, I noticed that. Yeah, the you, violence is very. 
nothing very violent it's it's like like, like a, a laser beam like it's a laser beam but also you get upgrades of like you know you can upgrade your gun basically later on get better stuff so yeah i've been playing that playing rocket league apex had an update uh recently they have events now and shit people get vicious with that game now they're like stupid good they had a solo mode solo mode is fun it was team based only team based for a while and they put out a solo mo solo mode that was pretty fun um Having a lot of fun with that game still. So solo mode, like 100% camping? Um, as much as you possibly can. Not really. Not really because, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of it. Because yeah. you come across somebody and you shoot them automatically because you know they're not part of a team. You know what I mean? There's a lot more engagements. Yeah. If you see somebody in team mode, you know they're part of a team, so you got to take your time. You gotta not engage right away because you gotta find the other ones. The, yeah, you gotta find the other ones. So in this mode, it was a lot of just you see the guy, you push right away on him because you know there's nobody else around him to help him. Hmm. So yeah, what are you playing? I am uh, playing Lego again. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Lego. Yeah, we all know I play Lego. I don't think babies. you talked about it when we were recording. Oh no, I've talked about it in the past though. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. pretty much the uh, most I play. But I actually threw back in uh, Horizon. Oh, yeah. I'm working to finish off that game. Uh, <laughs> had my little uh, battle to get myself to turn the game on. Because I know once I get the game on, I'm going to want to play it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm at the point now where if I don't turn the game on, then yeah. I don't have any interest in playing the game. No. So I'm a little tired of Lego and, and the kids were gone. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'll start playing some Horizon again. So I turned it on. And then at the same time where I have the battle to turn the game on, get myself <laughs> motivated to do it, I also get in that mind track where I'm like, all right, because I don't know when I'm going to play this game again. Right. I'm going to stick to the main quest. Yep. And we're just going to do main quest. We're going to get shit done. Yep. We're not going to be exploring. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, of course, I do the next main quest. And then I have an option to continue the main quest. And then I'm just going through the stuff and I see like five side quests I haven't done. <laughs> and I'm like... Well, I can knock those out like quick. So obviously, yeah, no. Now I'm on the side quest, <laughs> and then I'm going through those the the weapons, and I'm as I'm fighting the monsters. Each one has like a, a weapons they're weak to, the elements they're the weak to. Yep. So I'm like, I'm realizing like I can put attachments on things, but ideally, you don't like make three elements stronger because like okay you use this bow you can use fire arrows ice arrows and lightning arrows you don't make all three stronger you just make one three times as strong right so i got one bow that's a thunder bow so in my head i'm like hey you know what if i got a fire bow that would be very useful yep so then i'm looking at my inventory i go to buy it oh i don't have the thing that i need to buy <laughs> so then i gotta go hunting yeah so now i'm off on this uh, what started as starting as the main quest i've done side quests and now yeah. i'm doing weapon quests that i make for myself <laughs> um, I, I farmed it like the the hunting area like i don't know maybe four times before i'm like i did it again <laughs> and then i'm like you know what uh just try again a different day. <laughs> so I, I saved the game and then I turned it off. <laughs> I think that game, you have to sort of be the level for the main quest. I think there are some points of that game, some points of the main quest that you get to where it's like you're 35 and the guy's 40. The, the main quest boss is like too high for you. So I think there are points in that main quest. And I don't know if you're at it yet or not, but I think there are points of that game where... I the, am over-leveled currently. You're over-leveled, yeah. okay. Okay, so you, I, have, you literally have no excuse. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I, I, like I said, I did the main quest and like the dude had a big gun, so yeah. if he hit me, it hurt. But like three shots and I, I took him down. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, this guy was supposed to be a boss, I guess. And yeah. It really wasn't. I, I faced harder <laughs> monsters. But, it, I mean, that, that's part of the thing. Like, when I start playing a game, it turns into me grinding. Even if I have the best intentions to just do main quests, it's just like I, I start grinding. Yep. With no particular game, I, I find, like, a monster that, like, hey, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, fight this thing. I'm, I'm not even, like, trying to gather parts or anything. <laughs> I, just, I just like, you know, taking the monsters down yes. or whatever. And then... I, I walk to the save point, save my game, and then I'm just walking again, and they all respawn. Yeah. So I'm like, well, Ooh. now I can just like I can't just, can't like farm this. Yep. Like, so now it's like I'm farming XP. I, like I I I realized I'm going through my menu. I had 15 skill points I hadn't spent yet. <laughs> I'm like I'm bare bones. My character's bare bones. I'm like level 20 something, and and I'm just like bare bones. And then I just. 
No, like a 30 something actually. This was 15 points. And then I was just like, all right, well, uh, that looks good. That looks good. And these are uh, now like I'm just destroying things. Yeah. Like my strong attacks are stronger. Like I can knock more parts off every yeah. time I hit something. And like these things are going down like flies now. And yep. it's like, yeah. And, and before I was just like, I was hard moding myself. I, yeah. I was farming these things. Right. But with no real goal in mind. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I got 15 skill points. So <laughs> dump them all into this stuff. And now it's like even easier. Are you playing a lot, a lot of the, uh, are you using a lot of the different weapons? Are you using the traps at all? Yeah. I mix it up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when it gets down to it, when it gets hairy, I just break out my arrow and start yeah. headshot and shit. Yeah. Or just, just get him with the melee weapon. Yeah. I like using the trip caster that, yeah. that, that bolts him to the ground yeah. and I just go up to him like, pa, pa, yeah. pa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. I haven't done it since I've upgraded my character. Now I'm thinking about it. I could be knocking parts off all day. Yeah. All tied down and shit. <laughs> I went through that game and I got a lot of the bandit camps. You do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing too. I was just hunting bandit camps yep. for a while. Yep. Hunted corrupted zones for a while. Yep. They got a little out of hand. Once in a while, <laughs> I run into this monster. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to beat you? Yeah. Well, I'll come back some other time. Yeah, there's, there's some big ones. There's the, um, yeah, so legendary guys, right? Legendary winged things right uh i don't know if they're legendary but i i recently took down some giant ass bird right but i i cheesed the shit out of the fight yeah like there was a ledge (laughs) and i go hiding under the ledge and there's like a tent and a table in front of me and he just sits there in front of the cliff ledge doesn't move because he can't do anything right and i'm just like (laughs) shooting him shooting him shooting him chipping everything off i mean i must have wasted 200 arrows on the thing before it finally fell and then i had to run out beat the hell out of it with my yeah. thing but it was definitely not the way that fight was designed to go <laughs> or maybe it was i don't know it's all about survival so it is yeah they the uh thing just sat there it's like come at me bro yeah I, I won't do anything shoot yeah i didn't uh i like the story in that game how far are you into the story you think um the guy just tried to to blow up um meridian mm. the sun king oh um, yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was using his he uh my the guy that out the the captain of the guards or whatever yeah we went to find his sister and his mm-hmm. sister you know <laughs> i'm gonna spoil it for Spoilers. anyone the game's been out for like five years yeah um, it's like a ps4 ps4 launch game yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah i was trying to uh, I saved the Sun King's butt. Yeah. Meridian. Um. The the more you progress in that game, I like the, the cities that you get into. I think there's one, I'm not sure how far you went, are you into it, but there's well, like... That's really the only city that I've been to so far. The cities get bigger and more detailed and more like, yeah. extravagant as the farther you go. I like, yeah. the, I like the design of, these, of the cities in that game. Meridian is such a pain in the ass. Like, it's got the elevators. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know how to work the elevators half the time. I don't know where the elevators come out. Right. But... It is. It is interesting. And half the time, I don't even know how to get up to places. Like the whole game is like based on like climbing ledges yeah. and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I just find ways to climb things that I'm not even sure the 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 natural idea that they had to like. Oh, there's climbing. Like you got the 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 wood with the yellow rope wrapped around it. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. you know like yep. this is something I can climb. Yep. Which I always thought was pretty annoying. Like back when Uncharted was doing it. Yeah. Like. I know Uncharted is more like a, a movie game, which yep. actually uh, sometimes Horizon feels that way too. It does. It's just like that seamless transition into the cutscene. But yep. you're you're climbing from thing to thing, and there's no real penalty. There's no chance that you're just going to be like, oh, I slipped. Oh, I'm dead <laughs> now. There's no skill yeah. involved in any of it. So you just pr- hold over, and your, your character just starts hopping over, hopping over. But then like, there's times where I can't find the correct thing to climb up on, so I'm actually like, skyrimming this shit where <laughs> i'm just hopping up against mountainsides over and over doing rolls 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 on yeah. the top of a mountainside and it works it's not the way i'm sure they intended it to go <laughs> but <laughs> i get to where i'm going yeah exactly um have you gotten to any of the like the lore of the game as far as like what's actually happening yeah I, it, it took me a little while to figure out what's going on yeah i'm like it's like modern society like, yeah it's been overgrown spoiler alert, it takes place in the future yeah <laughs> which i i wasn't expecting when i saw that yeah but it, it's funny because i'm some of the structures you're walking through before you find all these little clues they leave behind yeah once you get your uh focus you yep. can hone on things and then 
like I like how you find something and it'll show a hologram of what it used to be in yeah. the, this, the sky. Yep. But like you're walking through the ruins and I'm like sitting here like, this looks like a stadium. Yep. Like why yep. would there be a stadium? And there was one point where I'm like walking and there were roads with street lights and signs and I'm like sitting here I'm like, now this, I at that point I thought this game was like a primitive thing and then you're seeing signs like you know, Los Angeles kind of and, and you got street lamps but they're all overgrown I'm like okay well that's not adding up <laughs> and then you read more of this and it starts making more sense that <coughs> we're in the future yep yep it's basically uh, Planet of the Apes yeah 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 yep. I mean it should I mean the robots too I mean it's not like you know you're fighting saber tooth tigers like real saber tooth tigers you're fighting robot saber tooth tigers right uh, so that should have also gave me a clue in the beginning as well <laughs> that we're at the point where we have robots. Yep. But it's a very cool game, huh? Yeah, I enjoy yeah. it. I do enjoy it. Yep. They don't have a lot of combat in No Man's Sky. They have like sentinels. They'll have like, you know, little bobby, little bobbing uh, uh, orbs, uh, metallic orbs that are like scanning you and like, who are you? And some planets will have more hostile or uh, sentinels than others. And this one planet had super hostile orbs, and I was just like, I shot one, and it's like, I'm going to call and help, blah, 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 and help starts coming, and it's like two two orbs, two sentinels, and then two elite sentinels, and then this, like, walking giant, you know, bipedal giant sentinel, looks like something out of Star Wars. And so I get in my ship, because I can't beat it with my little handheld pistol shit, so I get in my ship, and I'm like, I'm going to fucking blast you out of the fucking, you know, I'm going to get in the ship and use my ship blasters to kill you guys. So I get in my ship... This thing where you come in, I'm coming in so fast, I have to take like multiple, you know, multiple uh, cycles around to get them. I finally, you know, finally shoot him, he blows up. And I'm like, yeah, that was fucking smart. I feel good about myself right now. <laughs> and then I fucking like, the fucking cyber police, the, you know, space police come in and like, you are blowing up shit with your spacecraft. That's against blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always say that when you when you're you're doing something and you're like, oh, this is fun, and it's yep. like like GTA shit. Yeah. Like, oh, here come the cops. Yep. Like, oh, I didn't know. It's exactly like that. Where they have they'll have one on levels. They'll have like the little, little bars of like you know the sentinels are, are searching. Sentinels are searching. Sentinels will stop searching in you know thirty seconds or whatever. So you uh, sometimes I'll like dig a dig a big old fucking tunnel down to the ground and they can't search me down there. So I'll get away that way. Uh, I was going to say, oh, I'm playing Hearthstone. I'm still on my Hearthstone kick. Um, new update came out. They introduced a card, a two mana card that it's very, it's like this uh, super smart card. So it's like when you play it, it surveys the, the, the battlefield, the, your, the board. It looks at the board, looks at the board state and your, your health and your opponent's health and lets you choose three cards based on what the board, what based on what's happening in the board. And if you're low in health, it'll give you a, a health card. It'll let you choose from, you know, some health. If there's a lot of stuff on the board that's very, you know, you can't deal with it very easily. It'll give you a card that, that basically silences everything and then kills everything. It's one called Twisting Nether and kills everything on the board. One's called like Silence the Board or something where it kills everything. It silences everything, then kills it because some creatures have like a death rattle. But when they die, they come back. So it silences them first, it then kills them. So it completely wipes the board. It's very cool because if you play him when the guy is at 13 health, he won't give you Pyroblast. Pyroblast does 10 damage. So you get the guy down below 10 damage, you play the dude, then he gives you Pyroblast. It's a very cool little card. If there's a big creature on the board, you play him, he'll give you a big uh, card. It's called Large Removal, something that you know kills one big thing. It's a very cool card. Sounds kind of game-breaking. It can be, but it's also... They I mean, ma- I'm setting up a strategy here, and then, yeah. and then this thing comes and just wipes it all away. Yeah, depending on how the board is set up, it'll give you a card to counter that, yeah. The way it's balanced is you know, normally in Hearthstone, you can have two of any card in your deck. To make this card work, you have to get, you can only have one copy of each card in your deck. So that makes it so if you want to have a lot of uh, area of attack, AOE cards, you want you want two of them in your deck. You want as many in your deck as possible so you can draw it mm-hmm. when you need it. If you have one of what's called Brawl, they have a card called Brawl, which makes everything fight each other, then one card, one creature survives, you need two of those sometimes. You can only have one. So they made it so you have to thin out your deck. You have to make, you can only put one card, one copy of card in your deck. So that that sort of makes it fair in that way. Oh, yep. 
Yep. It's uh, Hearthstone. Hearthstone is still a game. Still haven't gotten Legend. I've been playing it for like five years. Still haven't gotten Legend, even though there's no reason not to. It's not It's not like a shooter. You know, you don't need quick skills. You don't need quick reflexes. Strategy. You need strategy. You do need strategy. Strategy is the, is the key that's been keeping me from getting Legend because it's, I have all the cards. I have all, I have the best cards. Like there is no card, there's no deck I can't make. You just I can't use them good. I can't use them good. <laughs> <laughs> no good with the cards. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm playing some Apex. Apex is still good. Apex on PC is amazing with the graphics and the mouse and keyboard. Uh, what else? Um, Rocket League on uh, on the new monitor is incredible with the 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 frames and the input. And what else? Hearthstone. Uh, Hearthstone. And there's something on. What do I play on PS4? Rocket League and. Apex and something. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm playing less competitive stuff. I'm finally getting off that kick because of No Man's Sky. I yeah. finally I get on Rocket League and I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember pe- when I used to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple times when I'm playing Rocket League with you, and if we play enough times, I actually start to become invested in it. <laughs> but that actually makes me a shittier player. Yes, it does. So then it's kind of like, oh, I'm at you that get, point. You get. Then we stop. <laughs> it's called getting tilted. You get tilted, and then yeah. you get bad. Once I start getting tilted, then I, I start like regressing. Like yeah. I've grown since those days. <laughs> like I, I, I've joked about it, but really, uh, I'm not entertained by any of the FPS that comes out anymore. No, like I'm not even giving the next Call of Duty a shot. No, um, Battlefield always seems interesting to me, but then I'm in it, and it's just like it's just so massive. Yes, like. I don't know. All the shooters is very fresh. Or Fortnite's garbage. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not good at it or anything. But it's just I, I just I'm tired of it, and I I don't I don't like feeling uh, yeah uh, that that way that I like. It's just emotionally. Yeah taxing like i used to <laughs> like shit on people I'd be like um, dude, the, the banter i get into them yeah downright offensive at times <laughs> and it was fun for when i was younger but now it's just like i don't know I got, yeah. and god forbid one of my children hear me <laughs> getting all salty over things here, here you're getting salty or getting impressioned by you yeah impressioned by your uh your behavior and here's the thing <laughs> what i always like with, with games like where where there's mics like call of duty I feel like I had an outlet and everything. I yeah. could, I could, I find people are getting further away from using microphones and in chat, even if they're in your party and stuff like there, there's party stuff, but people don't use mics mm, as much anymore true. or they will like Ish. play songs or you always got that one dude play, blaring like, um, Despacito in the background <laughs> or some crap like that. I fear that all the time. Huh? I play apex all the time, like in the morning or at night or whatever. There's people, like fucking Mexican people playing Despacito. There's yeah. one sound I fucking hear all of the time. Do you know what the sound is? No. I'll let, let, let you guess if what, what the sound is. It's somebody, the sound that if you hear it, it would drive you fucking crazy. And I don't know how people can hear it. And, and it's the sound you might hear in your house if you're not uh, changing the battery in it. Your fire alarms? Yeah. The beeping? Yeah. I hear fire alarms all the fucking time. The, the beep, the beep. beep. <laughs> Change batteries, dude. <laughs> and I to ask this guy, I heard the bleep in the background. I'm like, man, can I ask you a question? Why do you not change your battery? And he's like, I don't even hear it. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you? So either you really don't hear it and you're an idiot or you're deaf or you just become accustomed to it. That or he's like intentionally messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's easier when you're on the other side. You just like press a button and be like, beep. And be yeah. like, I'm pissing this dude off. <laughs> but you know, that's that's the thing. Like, I, I don't want to hear all that crap. Like, no. but yeah, like things like that. You hear that little beep, and that's more annoying to you than like <laughs> it is. anyone playing a whole song to you or anyone just oh, being a, yeah, a shithead teammate. It is. But like, remember Rocket League? Yeah. Like, what was more infuriating? I had to turn off like the the emotes, the the emotes, the chat like feature yeah. because it'd be like, it'd be like, oh, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. What a save! What a save! That what a save. was more. <laughs> aggravating than hearing somebody say these words to me. Yeah. You know what I say? It was, it was my go-to joke when people say they come on the mic and they're like, do you have a mic? And I say, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that joke. <laughs> yep. It's my games. Cycling. I'm still cycling through the same bullshit I've been playing for like four years. Rocket League, Hearthstone, 
Um, now Apex is in there. Apex is in the rotation. I'll, rot- I'll, rot- no Man's Sky. I'll rotate through the, the classics and then go to No Man's right. Sky. You'll have one new game that you're going to put in there. Yeah. I mean, just, I, I do that too. Like, I have I, Madden on my, my game. Madden 17 yeah. or 18. Yeah. But, like, there'll be times where I'll go away from whatever game I'm playing and then I'll just start playing Madden again. Yeah. Or, or um, I got Injustice on there. Once in yeah. a while, I'll start playing a fighting game. Uh, but yeah, I, I always have this idea. I, I download all the PS Plus games, yeah, the free ones. Yeah. And this 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 week it was uh this month, it's Batman Arkham Knight and Dark Siders Three. Mm. And I I learned recently that I need to play games faster, especially yeah. ones that I bought. Yeah, because there's going to be a good chance that uh, the next PS Plus game coming out, yeah. like for the next month, is going to be one of the games that I bought for yep. money. Yep, <laughs> and I'll get it for free. I think yep. I, I bought like a a bundle of Dark Siders at uh, one point. I'm like, oh, five bucks. I mean, how are you go wrong with this? And then now, <laughs> Dark Siders three was just free on, on yeah. PS Plus, and it's well, like, you got mm. three games for five dollars, which is basically free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these <laughs> games were probably like the original. I don't even know when they came out. Like yeah. PS4 initially came out it was yeah. probably when dark siders one came out yeah I'm, I'm not even sure but yeah i've been looking at those i'm like yeah maybe i'll play them one day i, I got such a catalog of ps plus oh, games yeah. i just i I put them in my library all the time i don't i, I think i asked you once and you're like nope not even one <laughs> i haven't even downloaded one. Oh, the free get free stuff yeah um yeah i don't download uh that stuff because yeah i know i'm not i know i'm not gonna play it also um ps pc games are usually cheaper generally you know yeah. and then they look better on pc anyway a lot well, of those... I mean, these are all free games if you have ps yeah. plus you get these for free yeah also they're i don't I know. think rocket league was once it, it was on yes. the ps plus it free. was yeah but no like the, a lot of the sales on steam and that's weird what, epic store how, how did that work out with rocket league i mean was it a, i can't remember because i remember andy had that game right was it just like let's just get our game out there <laughs> do they have like confidence in it enough where they'd be like if we just give this game away for free it's so good that we can take it off of at some point, put a price tag on it, and people buy it. They're the first ones, <laughs> I think, that really use that free-to-play model. Of we'll, we'll put out the game for free, but we'll make the money on the keys. Hmm. On the, oh, uh, yeah, okay. On the that's, loot boxes. That's frustrating. Yeah. So Apex is doing that. Apex did that humongously bad, humongously bad uh, with um, the last event they had where it was like this one item was $20. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it was like, here's here's 17 things, and you need to, or what was it? It was something that was like, oh, <laughs> I think I showed you this. You told me this. It was like, the item was 1,800 currency, and you can, no, it was 1,700 currency. You can only buy 1,800. No, it was the other way around, whatever it was. The lowest amount of currency you could buy was 1,700, and the item was 1,800. <laughs> That's messed up. No, I didn't tell you that, but Jesus. Yeah. Dicks. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything, like you said, Call of Duty, there's so much stuff of like, here's what you earn. Here's the here's the season pass stuff. Here's the store stuff. Here's your level. Here's your season pass level. Here's your, um, what do they call that? Season pass, but so what's the other one? The the You buy it every year. Every a se- Not a season. What's the other one? Battle pass. Battle pass, yeah. The battle pass. Yeah. You have battle pass rank, season rank, fucking your rank rank. Yeah. Jesus fucking crazy. And there's so much crap and there's so much like rank up to get, you know, the, the right. camos. The camo of your gun, the camo of your guy. And they all look shit, dude. The fucking Call of Duty uh skins for your for the guys look like shit. Oh yeah, they're all terrible. Apex skins look like shit. It's like if you're gonna charge me like twenty bucks for a skin or whatever, at least make it good. Right. It's just a like face paint or I really like gun camos really like, yeah. like I mean you earn those, you don't have to pay for those. Yeah. You could pay for them, I think, yeah. at some point. But yeah, it's just the gold guns, the, the, yeah. the eventually they had like lightning going through it. And well, then it's just like I mean that now it's cool for yeah, you know, thirteen year olds, like, wow, that's cool. But yeah. like as an adult looking at that stuff, it's just like that's that's not even I don't even want that. Like, Watch streamers play and it's like the dude got that um the red one or whatever red glowing fucking thing that was like you know for a thousand kills or something or yeah. you're to get the highest prestige level 10 prestige and the guy got in like a week <laughs> you watch the watch i watched one guy when call it when the last call of duty first came out and it was just like he's fucking what do you, how do you even how do you have that reflex how do you have the reflex over time oh yeah how do you have people to play with that are that good over time your sensitivity's jacked up 10 yeah turn around and you're like <laughs> I don't, I don't what, know. Uh, what guys are you watching on Twitch? Let's finish with that. Uh, 
same people. Two same people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, 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 a in a cycle. <laughs> yeah. I, my old. I'm stuck in my old ways. Yeah, me too. Same game, same people. I watch Shroud. Shroud's playing. Uh, he got back into Apex. A lot of people are playing WoW. I watched people play WoW. Um, I had him in the background while playing No Man's Sky. Mm-hmm. Uh, watching him, watch Shroud play is pretty cool. Watching Tim play is pretty cool. Asmon, yeah. Asmon Gold. That guy's a weird looking dude. I've never seen him. Never no, seen Asmon? No, nope. He's weird. He's a, let show you a picture of him. Uh, he, I guess he was into WoW. He was a big WoW guy back in the day. Yeah, everything on Twitch now is WoW. It is. Even all... Moon's playing. Moon Moon's playing yeah. WoW. Yeah. Uh, That's funny though because he understands that it's a, it's a boring thing for his viewers to watch. Yeah. So he's been like doing things like, that's. <laughs> 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 he looks startled and. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's yeah he's a very strange looking dude. But uh, Moon will put up like my my strange addiction or uh yeah uh the, the springer show <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, moon moon's uh streams when they does the uh the clip shows or what are they called the where you, people pay like three dollars to play a th- oh that's that's wobby second. wobby yeah okay yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Share. Moon, 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 moon 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 is yeah. uh the other guy yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the one that i said it reminds me of you and all the <laughs> fuse together that would kind of be who you become that media share shit is so fucking ridiculous it's like every week he makes like a 10 grand from people who just give him money to play it's clips and <laughs> gives him money to play content that's not even his it's like america's funny some videos but you pay for it right <laughs> but it, in a weird way though it, it kind of it gets the person that made the video money because it's getting viewed on yeah. YouTube. Yes. So, I mean, I guess he deserves that money. Yeah. It's like taking a, a a share of what the the guy that. Well, actually, is he? Because he's he's clicking the link, so yeah. it's on his stream, and right. not every single person is like going to watch that link separately. So they he have, might actually be taking business away from these guys on YouTube. They're going when people send in the link, they have to go to it. They have to do right, that. They clip. have to go to it. Yeah, the people sending it in. Right, but I'm saying, I, I, in my head, I was thinking, I'm like, oh wow, all these viewers watching this video, but it don't work like that. No, they're watching it on his stream. His stream is so shooting. he's using their content to, to draw yeah. more people in. Yeah, kind of fucked up. And, and still getting more money than probably that person did yeah. for that one view that was linked. Yep. Crap. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, to answer your question, it's Tim. Tim. Moon yes. Moon, yep. Uh, Wubby, uh, Sheriff Eli is pretty much my whole entire oh. knowledge of No Man's Sky, oh. besides you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy cracks me up. He is funny. Yeah. He's playing some weird games now, uh, some weird survival game. Hmm. Yep. Then I watch some K Pike. She, but she's not really. She doesn't game. She 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 does the body art. Stuff. Oh yeah yeah. I watch. Uh, there is this couple. Uh, it's called a couple streams. Mm. Literally a couple streams. That's the cute. Name of the yep. A uh, couple of streams together. Let me play. Actually, I want to pull up a clip because she has an amazing voice. Um, it's a woman and a man. Uh, the guy some plays sometimes plays a cello. She sings and plays guitar. Um, let's see if we can find a clip of this couple. Um, oh yeah, I don't know where we got Doc. Doc, yeah. He, he he streams like a fucking banker. He he has like banker hours. Like I wake up at like four thirty and he's like done. I'm like, dude. Yeah. Well he's in California too, I think. Is he? Yeah. Clippy clippy clips. I found the stream. Clip. Is he gonna show a clip? Or if they're just bantering. Yeah, he's he's usually done by like four o'clock. Yeah, he does like banker hours. Nothing they extra. Just, they just do songs? Yes. They do covers. They do some originals. They, mostly covers, yeah. Really good voice on this chick. Let me find a stream and see if... Add. Um, yeah. Tim does... Tim's had a kid, so he's like off at like 5. I'll get up around 4.35 and people are just like getting off. I'm like, come on. Tim's getting off. Uh, this doctor's getting off. Um... Yeah. A lot of people I watch at night, Crip, Criparian I watch at night. Let's see what she's playing. <laughs> yeah, really good. I don't care the mic she has. It's fucking good. Not this though. 
the heart of love. This song. What is this song? So I never went back. <laughs> heaven and hell decide that they both are satisfied. Is it from Scrubs? No. <laughs> 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 All right. Keep it moving.